Hi. Welcome to the stream. My fucking... There we go. There we go. There we go, bitch. There we go, bitch. There we go. I'm fucking around with my audio levels. Don't mind me. Hi. Hi, bitch. Hey. Hey, bitch. Hi. Hi, bestie. Hi, bitch. Even when I start fucking yelling at the chat. Oh, I do be screaming and creaming on this Starfield Labor Day. Also, thank you, Dragon Guy, for the Prime Spub. Oh, oh, stretching all my bones. I can feel my bones within my bones. Todd sending me to the sulfur mines once again to get fat egg for him. Todd the kind of guy to send me to like a dangerous bird's nest to get the most luxurious and creamy of egg. And then the bird is 50 feet tall and rips me in half. Todd put me in the star field with the star scythe getting star corn. It do be like that. Do be one of those, uh, uh, the wheat before the chaff kind of days. Oh, I'm stretching. Are you enjoying Starfield, Brendan? I'm having a good time with it so far. Um, it's fun. But it's still a Bethesda game, so, like, you gotta know what you got- you gotta know what kind of game it is before you go into it. If you're expecting it to be like a, you know, accurate space simulator, it's not that- it's not gonna be like Elite Dangerous or, or Star Citizen, right? It's- it's very much going to be, what if Bethesda made their own Mass Effect? So, like, depending on your thoughts on the game and your, depending on your thoughts on, like, Bethesda RPG dynamics, you may like it or hate it. The stuff in space is, like, okay. Um, but I think that, I think the main meat of the game is really boots on the ground, like Bethesda Exploration. Which, like, if you wanted the main meat of the game to be spaceship stuff, I, like, I'm sorry, it's not that. It's, it's not about the spaceship stuff, it's not about the, the, the flying your ship, even though that's in there. It's way more about, like, getting your boots dirty on the ground to, on another planet, and then seeing what the fuck is up. Brandon, I'm, what the, I'm at the deli. What, what, what you want in your sandwich? Just one long dill pickle on rye bread. But they gotta cut it in half. Dill pickle ketchup, rye bread. I ain't even gonna eat that, but like, you know what? Actually, ask the deli if they know what the sinner's sandwich is. It's a uh, turkey and strawberry jam and uh, cereal. You gotta go to the deli. You gotta order me a sinner's sandwich. You're gonna order me a sinner's sandwich. Get me a winner sandwich. Make me, make me the big winner of the day. Oh boy, win sandwich. Now that's some hype shit. Love it when I get to eat my epic win sandwich after a big day of gaming. Oh wait, wrong person. Fuck. I hit the wrong- I have a, I have an off stream character. Wrong character. Wrong character. Wrong character. Wrong play. Now I gotta re- now I gotta load into this like- Shit. Ignore that. I actually- I killed somebody. Uh, where's my- did I lose my guy? What happened? What? We're gonna quit to menu. Oh, there we go. Okay. Who? I thought I lost. I thought I lost my character. I was about to freak out. I was about to start going. Todd, what did you do? Todd, what did you do? It's okay though. They're in a different. They were in a different like state. Got it. 
I was trying to make a punchies character because I wanted to see how like the punchies were, and then it gave me an exotic weapon with explosive rounds, and I just have I'd switched that up. I played a little off stream, not with not with Chef Bridges. Don't worry, I haven't fucked with Chef Bridges at all. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. I've left him alone. I promise. Yeah, the, T Tabitha out on Iowa. Chef Bridges out here getting real with it. Was my game crashing now? Todd. I want to load my different character. Now my game being goofy. There we go. There's Sam. Where's Sam's dad at? Sam daddy. Where's Sam daddy at? Is he going to be mad if I steal all this shit? Oh yeah, he's got some shit that he does not want. You got a VHS tape! Oh shit, that's an antique. It ain't the orange one though, I ain't care. Have what you wanted. Now off with you. Come on, Jacob. Reconcile with your- Reconcile with your son. Takes perseverance, confidence. Was that a subtle day, Jacob? It wasn't meant to be subtle, son. Well, you take care of yourself. Okay, bye, Jacob. That's kind of a dick. Oh, it's a sexton on the ground. Sir, you dropped your- Sir, you dropped your sextant. Alright, fine, whatever. Not my problem. Not my pig, not my farm. No, 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 no. You know what I found out? Funnily enough, the, um, the voice actors for your parents are the, uh, actors who played Tuvok and, uh, Kira in, uh, Star Trek Voyager and Deep Space Nine. I also found out that Armin Shimmerman voices a character, so, like, Quark in the game. Quark at the Constellation. Quark be in the game. Quark be doing some real dubious goofing with all he wealth. Okay, we gotta go to the empty nest. Oh, we just gotta, like, walkies over there. Got it. My aunt's just walking out of town. Oopie. Watch out. I'm causing problems. I'm doing things. I'm doing real big damage. Don't fuck with me. I'm gonna do real big damage to you. I'm gonna see those big numbers fly, and then I'm gonna go, Whoa! Big number! Alright, we out of here. The streamer in the new Meat Canyon video reminded me of you, Brendan. Oh, the, the, is that the uh, XQC one? I'm not a goblin with hordes of treasure, I'm sorry. Y'all wish you could break into my home and steal my hordes of treasure that I hide in my vault. But I ain't got enough money for a treasure vault. And I ain't look like that. If that be like goblin core, I be like orc core. I'd be like, I'd be like right out of the breeding pit and right into the fire. <laughs> out of the breeding pit and into the fire, just the way I like my life. I come out of the egg, I come out of the home room, and then I just start causing problems. I just start breaking shit. If somebody broke into my house to try to like steal my cat, I'm sorry, but like... You're not making it out alive. What does XQC even stream though? He could like just make safe investments. I mean, do do what he want to do. I don't care. I don't know. I don't know shit about what I don't. I don't know shit about fuck. I don't know poop about dick. I don't know what big streamers are into doing. Dude, be online for like sixteen hours, and it's like at that point, I don't even know what you're getting out of it. What the fuck? My gun disappeared. Todd, there it is. <laughs> We found it. I <laughs> Why'd that thing be level 20? What in the goddamn? This place is... <laughs> Scan it. Oh, is that thing fucking scary? Oh, that thing's fucking scary. Got it. Takes more than one hit from the shotgun. That thing fucking terrifying. But I got the spice on here. Man's be taking a billion pot shots out of the world. I hate that shit. Yeah, big streamers are all weirdos and freaks. Not me. I'm normal. I'm not a freak at all. 
Never been a freak in my life. Oh shit, I'm getting real fucked up. Time to get goofy. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Wish you could get a gnome hat in this. Kind of horrifying that you can't get a little gnome hat. Oh, it's all the Shaw gang. Don't fuck with me, Shaw gang. Don't fuck with me. Are you going to Shaw Con? Shaw Con these nuts. Got him. You get it? Shaw Con? Pretty good one, right? Just throwing it out there. Pretty good one, right? You going to Shaw Con? Shaw Con these nuts? Fucking got him. Itch. What you got? What you want? I like your hat. Can I take your hat? No free hat. Bro, give me a free hat. Bethesda games were better when we were in an era of, like, free hat. Sorry. I miss the era of free hats. I could take anybody's hat back in the day. Brandon, why are you moving so fast? God gave me, uh, I don't know. God gave me permission to move this fast. He said, boy, you best be moving. And I said, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm moving grungulously. Up. Boop. See? He told me to. I got permission. I talked to Jesus. He's a real guy. Hangs out in my backyard, giving me free advice. He likes to make me little snacks. And it's like, I don't even believe in Grodd, but Jesus be outside. He'd be in my backyard. He'd be tied to a little cross. He'd give me little snacks. He's a crazy guy. But did Todd Howard keep sending me cut off fingers from my family as long as I don't buy Starfield, but I don't even have an Xbox. I'm sorry. But, uh, I don't know. You're never going to be able to, you're never going to be able to eat mama's meatloaf ever again. She can't make it. She ain't got no fingers. Let's say tag your it. Congratulations. You've noticed our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in this dry Aquila heat. I know I am, and I'm sure your friends are too. The task set before you now is to go into town and get some more beer. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now go. Somebody trying to get me a beer quest? I'm not taking no beer quest. You ain't tricking me into beer. Yeah, like, I'm not running for beer for a bunch of gang members. Fucking nerds. No, I probably could have done... Oh. Uh, broken everything. Got it. I'm learning lore. Shit, the busto for the Shaw Gang. Shaw Gang's so fucking mad that I'm taking their toast. No more Texas toast for these cowboys. You're gonna have to eat hobo stew. I love beer and tits and hamburgers. God bless Bramerica. You're so fucking right. I love beer. I love wine. I love whiskey. I love alcohol. I be drinking and I be thinking. That do be how most country songs go. I drink swill from a barrel that I found outside on the ground. I mean, to be fair, if you be drinking beer, ain't beer dubious be tasting better when you get it off the ground? Ooh, whiskey. Who's reading the Chunks employee handbook out here? Give me that. Sorry, I like taking all their stuff. Iron! Sorry, I really like taking stuff from the guys. I just like to steal. I'm just a little freak. I just like to take their thing. And I gotta go into that cave and fight him anyway. So like, come on now. Shaw gang, welcome to our little camp. <laughs> I don't care. Hi, dear. I have no idea. The filter's really bad. I have no idea. Weird. Maybe. Maybe a lot of thing on fire. Sorry, wife was talking to me about the, uh, the air filter. She brought it in to show it off to me. Horrible. We change that shit out every month. Air quality so bad, got me gasping. Gotta get that big iron on your hip. I mean, there's not, there's like a space revolver, but I don't think there, I wish there was an old earth revolver, and I don't think there is. That's a new shotgun. The Bridger? Oh, that's not a shotgun. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh wait, wrong. There we go. Where'd my where'd my fucking now I gotta go and pick up my Damn it, where the fuck did I put my shotgun at? There it is. 
They're gonna be dropping a bunch of shish. Yeah, they don't have like an old earth revolver. They have like the rattler, which is neat. But I'm just kind of meh on it. And that's neat, and that's neat. And they have the, yeah, they have the regulator, but that also is like sci-fi pistol. And I kind of need like, I kind of prefer like silly pistol. Hey, you dropped it. Wait, you meant to do that? Yeah, I meant to drop all this shit. Come on, Sam, don't make fun of me. They always got to be calling me out like, hey, you dropped all your stuff. Yeah, I don't need that. It's extraneous garbage. I'm dropping all the garbage. Todd told me to. He's in my head. Also, Sam, every NPC gives me bullshit for carrying all this shit all the time. So like, yeah, of course I'm dropping a little bit of that shish. Getting rid of some of that garbage. I go in here. I didn't go in here yet. These lockers are open. Duck. Oh, it's not worth that much. Hookah canisters, though. We take those. We got to take those on site. We're smoking symbiotes out here. I'm on them Nashville nibblers once again. I'm on that hot tea bubble kush. Oh, I was talking about the regular giant chunk of iron as a big iron. Oh, man, me and being illiterate. This is so crazy. Sometimes it's cool having the ability to read, but me, me personally, I think it's overrated. Why read when you can game? Personally, I think all books should be offered in video game form. Uh, that way, finally, I can play video game version of Pride and Prejudice. Me when I min-max my Poe attitude so I can fucking speedrun the Telltale Heart. Wait, are there drugs in this game? Actual drugs or fake drugs? Little bit of column A, little bit of column B. I think the only real drugs are like, you can find a uh, vape, an E-pen, or an E-pipe, and you can find hookah. But otherwise, it's still like fake drugs. The Shaw Gang. Up. Oh. I don't know how the fuck I missed every shot on that guy, but come here. Stop running, you fucking, you son of a bitch. You gonna get me? Nope. He fell for it. What a fool. What a stupid idiot. Well, hey now, I gotta get through there. Give me a moment. Well, hey now, I know you want to shoot at me, but you got to give me a minute here. I got to pick up all the stuff over here real quick. Well, hey now, I know you want to enter a combat scenario, but you got to give me a moment here, bud. Well, hey now, I, I know you want to fight. But I'm not done checking out the beginning of this cave. I missed every shot. All right, that's it. Fucker. 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 You made me pull out my rifle. Look at what you did. I wasn't done exploring your little hole. Cask of Amontillado, but in video game form. That'd be so fucking cool. Oh, is that the... Yeah, there we go. I think that's the grenade launcher again. Oh, is that a contraband crate? I think that's the grenade launcher again, but in silly form. Oh god, how want me to do this? I think it just want me to use the ones on this one. And then that one. And then that one. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. Change into digital crampions too. Ah, shit, undo. Ah, okay. It gave me it for free there. All right, good to know. Let me get that contraband. Those are my mech components. A nine of them. Yoink. Oh, my fat ass is over encumbered. Ooh, hat. Time to drop a bunch of shit I don't need. 
Welp, goodbye. Welp, goodbye. Welp, goodbye. I'll miss you. Miss that old earth hunting rifle. Too bad I had to get rid of it. That's some bullshit. Maybe I got some food. I got too much food. I'm eating so many cans of so many things. I'm eating so many grapes. They put my ass on the vine. I mean, so many meals. Oh, we actually, actually, factually. Close, close to my last rank up. We'll save it for then. Oh, shit. Getting wacky, getting goofy. What do we got up here? Cool rocks. Oh, shit. Bomb. They got more bomb, don't they? I see. Mine. Can't hide from me, silly fellers. I got your cave key, idiot. That's right. Can't fucking stop me, bitch. I got the cave key. They give me a lot of boom, don't they? They do be booming down here. All right, let me take a little look-see. What was the, um, not the old earth shotgun, but there was a, a thing I wanted to change, the maelstrom. Because I didn't like it was semi-automatic and I wanted to... Nope, you can't swap it. Fuck you. Son of a bitch! I mean, I can do the hair trigger. That might be good. Or just damage. Fuck of a man. Son of a bitch. Anything in here? Let me see. I can't do explodey boom boom round. But I can do this. No, I can't. I'm stupid. I can do tactical magazine. I can do laser sight. And I can't make it faster or better. Binary? Allows for open a fire on pull and releasing the trigger for- Oh! I don't want to do that. Fuck that. Like me my normal pistol, please. Back in my day, we couldn't even close the caves, much less lock them. Nowadays, every guy, every, every person walking directly into the goon caves, no respect for anybody else, always wandering into the goon caves, asking, not asking for permission, just walking right into the goon cave, not caring about anything else or anybody else. Oh, he wants to show me the, he, he wants me to show him my mining skills. I didn't pick up, um, I forgot my laser again. I'll think about it. If I find a laser, I'll think about it. We trying to get the artifact. Out here in the goon zone, Sam is showing me his ancestral goon caves so we can get a silly alien artifact. This is where my ancestor, uh, well, as you can see, he, uh, he did a lot down here. Yeah, he, uh, he really went at it. Really went to town in these caves. Yeah, really hooey. Really, who he really went at it. You know, every single one of those used to be socks. Ah, I'm stupid. I, I have to leave. I have to come all the way back because I, I literally need a mining laser. I'm so fucking dumb. I'm so empty. So fucking stupid. All right, well, I wanted to do this dungeon, and I wanted to have a good time, but, um, that ain't happening, because I'm dumb as fuck, and they didn't put a little laser in there. Didn't want to give me a little laser. I gotta go have my own laser. Yeah, of course there's something in here, Sam. These are your ancestral caves, you dickhead. I know there's something in here. I gotta come back. I gotta leave and come back. Funniest shit I ever seen, because I made a mistake. I'm fucking silly out here. I'm one ply, bud. Wait. Yeah! There we go. I need to leave and come back. We got it. We got it. We got it. You forget to bring your cutter from the ship again? I'm not making that mistake again. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm going to keep it on my person for any cool rock. All right. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to keep it on my fucking person. But if I see cool rock, I'm, I can be like, Cool rock! Cool rock! And then I collect the cool rock, that it's my cool rock. I mean, they knew. 
They asses knew that somebody would forget. And my ass is somebody would forget. Friend of the dumb dumb for getting his cut cut. Mimi not stupid. You you stupid. You you wake up in the morning and shit your pants every day. I know it. I seen it. I've been in your fucking room. Putting me on the monitor in your room and thinking that I can't see everything around me. I see that fucking Funko Pop of yours. You're gonna be like, oh, it's, a, it's a present. It was a present. It's not mine. I didn't buy it. It's a present. It's a present. I swear. My sibling or my parent got it for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nerd. Fucking dork. Can't cut through this, Sam. I can't cut these rocks, Sam. Sam at a toughie. I can't cut these rocks, Sam. Sam at a toughie. Can't get those rocks, Sam. Can't, can't cut those rocks. Why do they burst so... Sam, what the fuck's up with these rocks, Sam? I got it. I got the artifact. What, Sam? Sorry, I just had a prophetic vision. I saw you at the McDonald's eating two McDoubles, and you were, like, double-fisting them, too. You were double-fisting McDoubles, Sam. I seen that shit. It wasn't a dream, Sam. I knew that was you. You were balding, Sam. You were you were double-fisting McDoubles, and you were balding, Sam. I seen it. I saw it. There we go. Now we out here with the fattest of loads. All right, Shaw gang. We fucking out of here. We fucking outie. Bye-bye, Slaw gang. They didn't even offer me any coleslaw. This is so fucked. Didn't even give me a heap and help and a slaw. All I saw was a heap and help and a Shaw. I'd be on that Copenhagen grind. I'd be on that coleslaw dip. I wonder what flavor of smuggler lives here. <laughs> I oh shit! Shaw! Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashter away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other. Really? Do you really think I'm intimidated? I'm not cutting deals with no criminal. You think I'm intimidated? I am not, bitch. You are dying. Needlessly fast, I might add. There goes one of your guys. There goes another one of your guys. There goes another one of your guys. Are you feeling it, Shaw? Because I'm feeling it. Nice gun. Cool gun. What, it shoot electricity? I want it now. That's my gun. I got the arc welder. It's mine now. Grow the fuck up, Shaw. Optional kill the Ashta? Why is that an optional thing? Oh, shit. Who cares? They just be dogging. They be like the, uh, what are the things in Borderlands? 
They look like the Var- what is it, the Varg? Skeletor? Skeletor? I don't know what the fuck they're called. Somebody in here knows, though. Somebody in here's like a freak. They're like, how can you- uh, Skags! You know what, Skags? All I had to do was think about your mom, Chad. I'd remember. <laughs> That's so fucking rude. Yeah, they got high, like, hot and heavy Skag energy, don't they? I don't know why they wanted me to kill the, the like, fake Skags. Oh, well, whatever. Take their stuff. Take their stuff, take their stuff, take their fucking things. Take their stuff, take their stuff, take their fucking things. Bethesda really didn't want you to have, like, naked bodies in this one, did they? They just really didn't want you to, like, make their NPCs naked and then make, like, a body pile, did they? I was like, I can do that normal style. I pick you up and I can slowly move you over here. Where's Shaw at? There's Shaw. What do you mean Shaw's too heavy to carry? That's a fucking lie. I'm strong. That's a fucking lie, dude. Just didn't want me to make a boy pile. I thought this was just a thing you did for your videos. You mean you really talk like that? You're crazy. I'm sorry. I don't fucking... I can't help it. My brain be busto. I'm an insane person. I'm crazy. I'm wacky. They built me wrong in the boy factory. I came out of the fucking juice hole and they said, Hey, look at this guy. We made him wrong on purpose. God put me on this girth of an earth to be like, f This guy... This one... This one's a banger. We're gonna put this guy on the little planet here. We're just gonna see him flounder around. You're crazy. You're stupid. You're wacky. You're out of your mind. I just talk like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, fuck. What was that? Razorback? New gun. I dropped it, though. There it is. What the Razorback be? I'm afraid. Good. Be afraid. Oh, shit. I fuck with that. I fuck with this heavily. I fuck with this incredibly heavily. Sex gun. The gun that makes you sex. I like the profile picture, Brendan. Thanks, Fudo did it for uh, Halloween. And I was like, you know what? I love this so much. I'm gonna put it everywhere. Feeling really skeleton-pilled lately. Look at this son of a bitch. Big iron. Oh, chunky. Oh, fucking chunky. Oh, got fire? Oh, got fire? How it reload? How the reload be? Ooh. How the Arc Welder be? Because I didn't check that out. That worked like the Fallout one. Oh, very chunky. I love lightning guns. Big lightning gun head over here. You know how many hours I have in Doom 2016 multiplayer? <laughs> More than you'd know. Cool guns, though. I wonder then how many old Earth weapons there are, because I... There are a couple that I haven't seen that I've just now gotten for, like, weapons, and I thought I'd at least run a little bit of the gamut for, like, weaponry. But I'm still finding new gun. Aw, uh, so that, that excites me. Love me find my new gun. Big fan of it, personally. Uh, fast travel to Aquila City. Steal ship. Stop trying to get me to be like a, a guy who land on planet and then take ship away. That's fucked up. That's rude. That's evil. I'd never commit a crime. <laughs> Unless it was really, really funny. Alright, I have some contraband to offload. Hello, trade authority man. Hey, oh, you're the ship, sir. Never mind, you're not the trade authority man. There's the Trade Authority kiosk. Can I sell this shit to the kiosk? Yeah. They're yeah. gonna know. Ah, yeah. uh, they're gonna know. Alright. Sundial, take it. Theodolite, take it. Geode, take it. Cards, take it. Thank you, Sleep Trouble 3, for the Prime Spub. You must steal ship. Stop trying to make me a evil guy. I'm a nice and friendly fella who loves hanging out, not a fart smeller. I'm a nice and friendly fella. Don't you dare call me a troublemaking fart smeller. I'll freak the fuck out. 
Uh, where's the trade authority at? I gotta find, like, their actual offices here, and then I can offload this, uh, contraband cargo that I have. Because you kind of don't want to just be out and around with contraband cargo, because I have not gone into smuggling. Where are... Where are you? Trade authority. That's residential. There they are. Itching. I'm an upstanding citizen. I'm a great chef with a great mind for many a chef thing. Hello, Duncan. Welcome to... Huh. Down a bit. Oh, does he not want to take my fuck, fucked up evil cargo? Shit. Do I gotta just drop it? I don't want to just drop my fucked up and evil cargo. I want to fucking sell it. I still have it, right? Yeah, I still have it. I want to... How the fuck do I sell my fucked up evil cargo? I want to drop it. It's a lot of money. I'm just going to have to... I'm just going to have to drop it, aren't I? I'm just going to have to get rid of my fucked up evil cargo. Wait, let me see. Let me let me see if I can chat with him. Do you have business with the trade authority? Well, like the name said, I won't. What I will say, a scarcity... You'll see mission boards... You'll see mission boards typically by... Okay. I'm the local representative. In that capacity, I... With the long lag time... After all, God, this guy's like clean as a whistle. There's another general store in the town. Yeah, I believe you're correct. I just I hate that this guy's like clean as a whistle. All right, let me see what I can sell to him because I don't need all this shit. Uh, I'm not going to use that. Bye bye. I'll keep that for now. Um, I'm not going to use that. The pistol is cool, but I'll get another one. I'm not worried about it. Uh, and I'm not using that. There's just too much weight. I have too much shit. Um, get rid of that. Fuck it. Um, too much garbage. Too much trash. Uh, keep this one. That'll be my one knife. Cause that doesn't weigh that much. All right? Where is the, the the bulk of my weight? Oh, did I buy everything from him? I didn't mean to buy this shit from him. God damn it, I meant to sell it to him. Fuck. Brandon. Brandon! You silly bitch. Alright, inspect by weight. Do we have too much of one thing? No, we don't. Okay. Now we're in the buy page. Oh, we've been in the buy page. I'm stupid. Shoddy? How the fuck, how the fuck you make that a shotgun? What in the fuck? How the fuck that even... What the fuck that even? I kind of want to buy it just to see what the fuck it be do. You know? What the fuck even? How the fuck even? Why the fuck even? Uh, I just want to check. What does this use? 12 gauge standard. Oh, this is all the shit in my ship, right? Uh, I can get rid of some of this. Why do I have these folders? Why do I have this lamp? This desk, these notepads, these notebooks, these pens. Why do I have these succulents? That's not, why am I carrying all of this shit? You can have it, bud. It's yours, my friend. Oh, and these are all my extra weapons. We'll keep those around for now. I don't, I don't need to sell that shit yet. Hello, John Smith. Oh, then you should trade with me. Damn it. All right, let's go to the general store. The general store isn't going to take my fucking tarnished and smuggled yuggled merchandise. I guarantee it. Ain't no goddamn way they're taking my silly merchandise, but we can try. Maybe I can barter with him and be like, listen, you can use these mechanical parts for many a good thing. You can build a, I don't know, a, a dog. You can build a, a, what about one of those Boston Dynamic dogs? You can build your own. Think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. You could build your own Boston Dynamics dog. Wouldn't that be neat? Wouldn't that be swell? Don't you go to the trade authority in the town to sell that stuff? See, but I did, but he wouldn't buy it. That's what I thought. I I'll say right up front. Here. No, this guy won't buy him either. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta bring it to Neon, but I'm gonna get caught, so I'm just gonna have to drop it. This is heartbreaking. Free contraband! Free contraband! For anybody who wants it, free con- I went to the actual person. I did. He wouldn't buy it. I'll go back. I'll show you. I've had Trade Authority people buy it before. That guy's just too upstanding of a citizen. He won't fall for it. I went to it. He wouldn't buy it. Unless there's another guy in here. This was the guy I was just talking to. He's the Trade Authority guy. There's nobody else in here. Here. You know what? You won't fucking buy him. I'm going to be pissed about it. You know what? Fine. You don't want to buy him? Fine. Just take him. You know what? Just take it. Had an interaction like that in retail once. Um, I was working at GameStop and a guy came in with his son and he wanted to buy like a cool dude game for his son. So his son uh, really wanted Tearaway on the PS4. Really weird decision too because the kid saw Tearaway and I told him, yeah, it's a pretty cool game. And the kid immediately like locked on Tearaway, right? And this is like 10 minutes before closing. This kid's like screaming about Tearaway. His dad like sends him over to the demos. His dad's talking to me. So he wants to buy new game just released, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And I'm like, he might like it. He might like the Insane Trilogy. Like it's a fun platformer. Um, it's not going to be the same as Tearaway. He's like, good, because Tearaway kind of looked like a girly game. And that's because Tearaway had a foldable cover and the, you could either switch over to the girl character or the guy character. And the pre-owned copy the kid was looking at was a copy of Tearaway with the girl on the cover. The dad was like, oh, this is a girl game, whatever. So... Dad buys Crash Bandicoot for this kid. This kid gets mad, like real angry, starts throwing a shit fit. I want Tearaway, I want Tearaway, I want Tearaway. First person to ever like throw a fit over the game Tearaway and the only person I think who will ever throw a fit over the game Tearaway in their entire life. Um, 10 minutes goes by, it's 9 p.m. We have to close. Uh, another 10 minutes go by, it's 9.10, we're closed. They're still in the store. This dad doesn't like pick up his like 10 year old son and like walk out with him. This dad is like trying to like console his son out of the store. He's like sitting down and he's like, hey buddy, I got you Crash Bandicoot, buddy. That's gonna be like a good game, like a guy's game, buddy. I was like, okay, this is weird. Hey, um, you guys need to leave, we're closing. Another 10 minutes goes by, they ignored us. We're trying to like close and people are coming into the store thinking we're open. We're like, um, can you guys like leave? Dad's like, oh, you know what? Fine, we'll return it. Uh, so we, dad walks up to the counter with Crash Bandicoot, goes to return it. I ask him, uh, so for this return, like, need your receipt? Thank you. Grab the receipt. Start working on the return. Um, and then for any return at GameStop, you need, like, just address name, right? Because the GameStop doesn't want you to take advantage of the refund policy, so we just grab your name and address, which is standard for most returns, right? Uh, so I get his name, and then I ask him for his address, and he's like, none of your fucking business! And he'd, like, been calm and collected, like, with his son, calm and collected with me earlier, and then he just starts screaming at me. It's 9.20. We're supposed to be fucking closed. He's screaming at me about how his son and him had their, their information stolen, and he's not handing out any information to nobody. He's, like, fucking yelling at me. Uh, and I'm like, what in the fuck? What, what, what kind of, like, damn did I break down? Right? What kind of walls did I break down for this guy to fucking start flipping out of me? So then he throws the game at me and he says, here, just fucking take it then. Like, fuming. Walks back over to his son who's like throwing a giant tantrum on the ground still. He's like, hey, buddy. Hey, come on, buddy. We gotta leave. Hey, buddy. 940 rolls around. They're still in the store. My manager has to walk up to them and be like, hey, guys, I need you to leave. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna call the police for trespassing. Dad finally is like... <sighs> Picks up his son, walks out. We didn't, me and my manager did not get closing details done until 10, 10. We leave at 10, 10. And that dad and his son are still out in the parking lot in the dad's truck. The dad is still trying to console the son about the video game shit. Weirdest, one of the weirdest interactions ever. Dude will blow up on me, but will not like, just be like, hey, you're not getting this. Weirdest fucking shit. And kept me an hour and ten minutes after close. How may I serve? Ah, uh, yes, the fucking cubed fruit. Fine. Jenna just bought tear away. But you don't get it. Tearaway's like a, it's like a, it's for girls, obviously, because it had a girl on a cover. 
even though it had a reversible cover and I tried to explain that to the dad like it's it's got a boy and a girl character it's not like a girl's game and he's like it's got paper it's got a girl it's a girl's game give me a boy's game I'm like what are you are you are you crazy My fault for trying to sell that kid on Crash Bandicoot 2, though. To be fair, that kid played one second of the Crash Bandicoot demo and was like, This is too hard, I hate this! <laughs> you know what I should have done is I should have asked, Hey, you got a PS3? We got a real man's game over here uh, that you and your son can play together. It's uh, Haze on the PlayStation 3. Have you heard of hit video game Haze? It's a real, it's a real manly game, is Hayes. It's a real strange game, is Hayes. You play Hayes, pretty cool game. Where we gotta go back to Alpha Centauri, we gotta back, go back to New Atlantis. Was Tearaway a good Vita game? It was pretty alright. Uh, the, the, I heard the port was also pretty neat. The, 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 the downside to Tearaway was that it was a Vita game. Uh, I, I, I always heard that the port for it is all right, though. Yeah, gotta do, uh, gotta do Brink for the Xbox 360. Now that's a real good game. Your son's gonna love Fracture on the PS3. Huge game right there. I played, um, a bit of Hyenas with Mandy. Uh, yesterday, which is Sega and Creative Assembly's new, like, extraction shooter. They have, like, a closed alpha. I have never had, um, I've never played a more cynical and miserable game, by the way. I did not stream it, and I'm almost thankful I didn't. Um, because it, it was just, it was so fucking bad. You ain't seen, you ain't seen, like, the worst that Creative Assembly has ever made until you see Hyenas. I will never join the pack. We don't know what effect we stop making extraction shooters. Well, here's my problem with it overall is like, if you're going to make an extract, one of the main like ends for an extraction shooter, I just don't want to play the cutscene while this I'm talking. Um, one of the main like things about an extraction shooter um, is that uh, like you want like cool loot to be able to bring it back so you can get more cool loot. Hyenas is dog shit because all you do is collect a bunch of like Stranger Thing I love the 80s bullshit. Um, like, oh, remember the Sony Walkman? You can get that as merch and bring it back and level up your character. Do you like the song by Twisted Sister? That's a cassette tape in the hyenas. That's freaking awesome. And it's so horrible to the point where there's literally uh, a giant computer in one of the areas that just is a CRT monitor that says 80s. And it's like, what if we made Borderlands, but more cynical and boring? It's a terribly shit game. Horribly, horribly depressing to play. It is like if you made a Funko Pop into a person. It's despicable. And I mean that for all intents and purposes, it is literally... I took a Funko Pop, I humanized it, and I told him to build a game. It's so fucking sad. And it's like, it do, you don't get any guns or loot like you would in a normal extraction shooter. Literally all you do is, you gotta go onto the billionaire's plunder ship and steal fat merch. Like, remember Sonic? Remember the Atari 2600? You get that? And then you're supposed to escape with the fat loot so you can level up your Overwatch hero characters so you can get more fat merch and loot. And it's like, I... It, that sucks. It sucks. It just sucks. It's the most like... It, 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 it's like a game made by developers who like knew they would hate making it. Which bless Creative Assembly for, you know, doing what they could with that game. But it is... It is... It is... It's like... Like I said, the best thing I could say is it is like a game made by people who hated making the game. Speaking of Funko Pops, you better be streaming Funko Fusion. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta stream Funko Fusion. They got the, the thing in there. I still can't believe that the thing is one of the major marketing pushes 
of that whole fucking game. Like, the thing... That's one of the licenses you got for your fucking Funko video game? The thing? The thing? I cannot fucking... I just... I Like, every time I think about it, I'm like... Funko Pop video game where one of the major marketing tools is it's got the thing in there. But it do. It got the thing in there. That's crazy, dude. That's what's crazy about Funko Fusion. They got that thing in there. But yeah, I don't know. Holy hyenas is a wholly depressing experience. And if you're a normal human... Like, bless your heart, but don't touch that game with a 20-foot pole. What the fuck is Arc Welder? It's an Arc Welder. I got the laser lightning. Alright, let's go watch the cutscene. I'm done bitching about hyenas. You know what's cool about hyenas is there's a character, he kind of looks like Sonic, and you can get a shadow and a Tails and a Knuckles costume for him. I think that's the only way you can get people to play that game. Is like Sonic fans. Like that's the only way. There's no fucking way. Bless any normal human who puts time into hyenas because um I came back a changed man. I'm different now. I'm built different. Anyway, I got a new piece for the thingus. Just what are we building here? New thing! New thing! New thing! New thing! That doesn't mean much. Yeah, I like lightning guns. You got the lightning gun in Doom 2016 multiplayer. You got the lightning gun in Remnant. I like the lightning gun in this. You got the Tesla cannon in uh, Fallout. I'm gonna walk into GameStop asking for hyenas. You gotta walk into GameStop and ask the GameStop employee, Hey, have you thought about joining the pack today? You wanna be a merch freak? Have you thought of joining the pack today? Hey, I got a closed alpha code for hyenas. You wanna join me? You wanna join the pack? I think Cora and I can use some downtime. But you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot? Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cara? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Yeah, go to the, ga go to the GameStop and ask the bastard behind the counter if he wants to join the pack. Pack watch, bozo, rip bozo. Or excited to find you. Oh, dad, dad note. needs me? I got a dad note. What did dad need from me? Dad left me a new note. Note from dad. News from dad. You must absolutely come home right away. Incredible news. Drop everything and head over. Dad! I gotta run! My dad needs me! I got a virtual dad. I don't need no real dad. Got me a virtual dad who's excited to spend time with me. My virtual dad needs me. He needs me now. Exciting news, son. Your mother's dead. She got stuck in a sand pit. And the creatures in the sand pit sucked all the moisture out of her. You got a dry mom. Damn it, dad. When you told me mom was dry, I thought she was finally getting off the booze. No. She's a desiccated husk. Dad. I'm... <laughs> Just remember, your father in this video game is voiced by Tuvok from uh, Star Trek Voyager. Your mom is voiced by Kira Narice from Deep Space Nine. So there's like infinite reasons to take the uh, mom and dad perk. I'm going to get home and dad's going to be like, just got into the closed alpha, son. Excited for you to join the pack. Oh, dad. Yeah, they got Deep Space Nine representative in this. They got Quark. Quark voices a character. Armin Shimmerman voices the, uh, the CEO in the Constellation. Adam Jensen is Sam. The voice cast in this game is insane. Daddy. Daddy was there. <laughs> Dad wants to teach me how to play Fortnite. He just got the, the, the Summer and Morty skins for Rick and Morty. That's crazy. I can't wait to destroy my father with the Arc Welder. Sorry, Dad. I have to destroy you. I gotta pulp you with the Arc Welder. Dad, did you just say Rick and Morty? Sorry, Dad. It's Arc Welder time, Father. Where's my dad at? Where are my parents at? 
in the residential district, right? Are you still in the honeymoon period or have we passed it yet? I fell out of the honeymoon period and then I fell back into it once I started doing actual quests and stuff. The side quests and some of the storyline stuff is a lot better. Uh, personally, I would just stay away from the proc gen stuff unless you absolutely want to do it for like resources. Because I, I had forgotten that uh, radiant quests are miserable and I don't know why I was doing as many of them as I was because I am a little bit crazy, a little bit fucked up. Right, where are we looking for? Pioneer Towers is where our parents are. That's Athena Towers. That's CRJ, CJ's. Is this it? Is this Pioneer? No, that's Apollo Towers. Why are there so many apartment buildings? I don't know where the fuck my parents are. Where's my mommy? Where's my daddy? There they are. Mother, father. You have something exciting to tell me? There's exciting dad news being unlocked? Mother, father. Radiant quests are best says I'm going to pass this place anyway, so may as well do it. Yeah, I was kind of doing too many of them. Being a little goofy. Dad. Dad news. That Aquila City bank robbery story on SSNN. That was you, right? Of course it was. Oh, I was so proud. My child on the news. I nearly dropped my- Tuvok and Kira Norris, by the way, are your mom and your dad. Just to remind you, that's Tuvok, that's Kira Norris. I am so excited to find out what other Star Trek actors worked on Starfield. Todd's such a fucking fanboy. You always did have a silver tongue. As soon as I saw that story, I talked with Linda. You know Mrs. Ming across the hall, and she didn't believe me. I swear our friends think we're making you up. I almost want you to show up in your finest constellation outfit at poker night, just so I can show them. That's right, they're gonna put your dad from Starfield in the next Telltale's uh, poker night at the inventory. I was just joking. But next time, let us know you got a story coming on. Might save your dad from having a heart attack. I've got lifetimes worth of books and videos to- Damn it, daddy. You were gonna tell me something, dad. Do I have news? news? Dad's invented I'm cigarette juice. This is a kid on Christmas. Anyway, so you know about my card game, right? Been playing for years. Do I? Well, I was in the game of my life. Me and another lady, we went all in and then some. After I called, she had four of a kind, queens. But I had an honest to God straight flush. Honey, he doesn't need to hear the play-by-play. -play. This is my moment. Come on, Mom. Let Dad tell me about his poker game. I won big. The biggest pot of my life. <laughs> I kept my poker face, even if I felt like letting my insides out. But the big kicker is, I won myself a ship. A real starship. It's real, sweetie. We, we went to the docks and looked at it and everything. Well, there's no way I'll ever fly it. So we had no idea what to do with the damn thing. And then it came to me. Dad's gonna give me a car! Your expression makes it totally worth it. All the paperwork's already been taken care of. Keep it, sell it, I don't care what you do with it. I just hope it makes up for all the money you keep sending home. Dad just gave me a fucking ship. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. That's pretty cool. Free ship. Why do you look older than your dad? I got my looks from my mom. You can kind of tell. You can kind of tell. Chef Bridges got his looks from Mom. The two best days in a man's life. The day he buys a starship and the day he sells a starship. We love the kid stuff. We do. Why are the Starfield parents so fucking cool? We love them. There's literally no downside to getting the parents. You give them 2% of your income. That's like nothing. Oh, dude's telling me about baking his own bread while I walk away. 
He's like talking to me. He's like, you know, I tried to bake my own bread once. Why are you fucking scanning my ID chip as I walk by to tell me random shit, dude? That's fucked up. You know, I tried to bake my own bread once. Hey, looks like you, you look like a chef. I do? Yeah. You, uh, you trying to start something, bitch? You, uh, you trying to say something about chefs? You trying to fuck on me? You trying to fuck on me? Dude, I don't know dick about poop, dude. I know nothing. I know shit. I ain't no fuck. Oh, Representative Chisholm. Ah, they're keeping him out of the city. This is so fucked. Let's check with the ship technician. See what kind of ship my parents gave me. What did my people give me? Okay, no problem. Ah, the Wonder Wall. Thanks, Dad. I love the Wonder Wall. And all the vents and all the thoughts are blinding. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Because maybe he's gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. Thanks, Dad, for the Wonder Wall ship. Is it better than your ship? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe a little bit technically. It's got a better reactor. Less crew space. More shield space. No lasers. No lasers? This bitch ain't got no lasers. Never mind. I ain't give shit about fuck. I'm sure you can find what are you selling? What I want is enhanced cargo capacity. Like, look at this son of a bitch. 2600 cargo capacity. That's the kind of shit that I want. I want that big cargo. I want the shield breaker. Ah, but if we sell it, we only get 10k. And it's got better. It's better for fuel. It's got a better hull. It's got a better. I could probably just fix this one up to be a better ship. You know what? I want to view and modify my ships. Maybe we do a little swappies. Make that one my home ship. Shipbuilder. Uh, add. I need better. I need a higher rank starship design, don't I? Maybe I can add a small one. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got too much cargo anyway. We got to be selling some of our resources, don't we? But I like the Wonder Wall. Uh, I wonder, are there any upgrades I can do? Energy weapons, so those affect shields. Okay. Gotcha. So I could upgrade to the three. We'll do that. And then I could upgrade these ones to the two. And then I should also just spend money on my grab drive. Upgrade that son of a bitch. And then can I upgrade my reactors? No, only downgrade. It has the top quality reactors on that son of a bitch. Got the big reactors on this bitch. Confirm it. There goes 2k. 20k. Alright, let me check out the Wonder Wall. Why are people complaining about the, every minor aspect of this game? Welcome to Bethesda Games. That be it. 
There will be a lot of complaining, uh, a lot of people being like, oh, the game's actually way better than you think it is. Uh, it's just going to be a mix of, like, complaining and then, like, expounding the virtues of the game. It takes a little while for Bethesda games to kind of, uh, what's the best way to put it? It takes a little while for Bethesda games to kind of, like, settle down in terms of, um, like, gamer chatter. I will say, I wish some of the spaceship stuff and star, like, exploration stuff was better. I wish that there was a better map, um, for, like, local areas and bigger areas. But overall, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. And look at this new ship we got. We got space now. Our crew can finally rest. The adoring fan is so happy. He finally has his own chair. Hello, child. Books. Books. That's an odd way to start a conversation. Yes, it is. Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? Wait, my book allowance is all gone. So, books? Uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance... Dad, this is between us. Here. Here's 50 credits. Oh, oh. Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Here's 50 credits. It's Sam's uh, kid. Uh, now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah. A small price to pay for my education. Now, the important question. Pizza. Oh, let's fucking own this child. We're going to fucking ruin their life. I'm going to say pineapple. Dad loves boring. Pineapple got to be a choice. Come on now. Fuck you. Why isn't pineapple a choice? I'm going to do uh, fine meat. Whatever's handy. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat. We have you outnumbered. We could always get one of each. No, you lose. <laughs> we eat dominoes on the spaceship. I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I uh seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship, but imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. <laughs> yeah, okay. Something on your mind? And is it hero work? Oh, oh, the misery. My favorite captain wants to be friends with me. Where's the cargo hold at on this son of a bitch? I gotta figure that out right quick. Oh shit, where the cargo hold at? Oh god, where's the- There it is, bitch. Alright, we're good. Or let me into the pilot seat. Let's go out into space! We have liftoff, bitch. Why would you ever want to get rid of the adoring fan? Having somebody on your ship extolling your vir virtues like all day every day? Would that be awesome? That's a great ego booster. See? Look at this shit. We love the adoring fan. We'll never be able to convince him we're a terrible person because we just aren't a terrible person, bitch. All right, where do they want me to go next? Narian? Return to Vectera? Ah, I gotta go back to- Oh, that's right. I gotta go back to the, the guy, the dude. The planet we were in! Whoa! Where were you when I went back to the crystal mines to show them how strong I was now? No fun. Well, you're back. Lynn! Why, why is that an option? Why is the Bob's Burgers Lynn an option? What the fuck? Lynn. Linda. Lynn. One lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. 
no smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Another talk. Suicide mission. Suicide. <laughs> Oh, Barrett's really tough. He's really tough for a guy named after a 50 caliber rifle. He's tough. I would think so. Pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive... <sighs> oh, okay. I gotta fix the comms computer. But before I do that... Do I have it? Do I have it? One second. Did I get it? Didn't I make it? One second. We got it. Alright. Before I do that... You see that mountain? <laughs> We're gonna eat bread on that mountain. That was a hell of a thing to see. I mean, it's very important for us to go and like save our guide, but you see that mountain right up there? That one right there? I'm gonna eat bread on top of that mountain. No, wait, that's the mountain. That's the bread mountain. All right, we're gonna eat bread on top of that mountain. Watch this shit. Todd says, you see that mountain? You can climb that mountain. You see that mountain? You can eat bread on top of that mountain. Now that we wrapped our way back around to the beginning area, we gotta get back up there. What are the drugs called? Amp dramatically increases your run speed and jump height if you have some. I'm not worried about that. You see that mountain up there? We're gonna get up there. We got up there earlier. We got up there at the very first stream. We're going up to that mountain. We're gonna eat bread. You see that mountain? We're gonna eat bread at the top of that mountain. You can't stop me. You can't make me stop. Dawn is breaking, and I have one singular goal. You see that mountain? We're gonna eat bread at the top of that mountain. Uh, patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear wonger. I don't care about your fancy quest line. I don't care about your radiant quests. I don't care about your space exploration. I don't care about your outpost building. All I care about is that mountain. I can eat bread at the top of that mountain. What the fuck is a wonger? Snack trolling the Mojave Licious. Carol Michael, you almost wish for a nuclear wonger. I got a goal. I got a goal in mind. I got a, I got a vibe. I got, I got a goal in mind. We snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes bread on top of the mountain head. At which stage of the Brendaniel Bethesda cycle are we? You know what? Actually, I wrapped back around really fast. Because I was at, I hate this game for a minute. And then I wrapped back around to, I like this game. It's really, it's really, it was really tough. It was a really tough decision to wrap back around in this game, but I, I did it. I pulled through. Nuclear Wonger, if you don't know, it's like a joke image that uh, back when Snickers used to have a, um, you could like change text to be like Snickers language. And so somebody changed patrolling the Mojave almost make you wish for a nuclear winter into snack rolling, snack trolling the Mojave-licious Carol Michael, you saddest wish for a nuclear wonger. 
Yeah, it's snacklish. It's like a it's like a language. I don't have the image on hand right now. I'm trying to climb this mountain and eat bread. So I say nuclear wonger a lot. It's just stuck in my head. It's like nuclear wonger and who's hungry for a wongry? Rev up those fryers. Ren, why do you want to eat bread? What a silly question to ask a human being with impulses and thoughts. You don't have the image on hand? I do have it on hand. I just don't want to switch over. This is way more important right now. Like, I can swap over and pull up the image, but like, I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to climb the mountain and eat bread at the top of the mountain. Dawn's breaking. We did it. And this is where I leave my toast. Eight slices in one slice. Some crazy shit. You know what's even better? You know what? For the fallen, we leave a little. We leave a little artifact for the fallen. The people who've died at this mining outpost, their spirits, they live on. So for them, we leave what we need to leave—a grilled cheese. For all those crazy fellas who fought off those alien, we leave a bit of cheese, a bit of bread. Was it worth it? Yes. That bread will always be there. Like, you know how you're going to go to the moon and you're going to see where they put the flag on the moon? We leave that grilled cheese there. We sacrifice. We, no, we snacrifice. We do what we have to do. I don't need your help, Vasco. You chillin'. You coolin' it. Live in your robot pod for the rest of your days, Vasco. Stop trying to gain sentience, Vasco. That's not cool, Vasco. All right, let me in here. I gotta fix the computer. Damn, this is crazy. I never went in here. Oh, they got a cut. That's a better cutter! That's neat. I don't know they made new ones. Neat. So that's Heller's cutter. It just does more robot damage, and it's and it's it it, it weighs less, so we're taking it. I don't need a zero G gimbal. Don't tell me what I need. What they got in a locker? Ooh, isotropic coolant. Ooh, antibiotics. Ooh, a staple gun. Ooh, a toy spaceship. I don't need that. What about my baby? That's stealing. That's not stealing, bitch. This is allowed. They let you do this. Nah, they said it was cool. They said I'm allowed to do this. There we go. Thank you for the safe. Pretty cool. Thank you for the drugs. Pretty cool. Moby Dick. Well, I'll be. That's worth a pretty penny, not going to lie. That also, I want that. Give me some of that emergency power cell. I need that. That's probably the quest item, maybe. I'm just dubious goofing. Ooh, power cell. Another one. They put them everywhere here. They got a lot of AA batteries around here. How many AA batteries can you fit up your nose, chat? Just a quick query, a question. I wonder. Five, seven, eight, just two? If they ever let me start my own game show, first thing I'm doing, how many batteries can you fit in your nose? Actually, you know what? Even better, as like a game show host, how many batteries could you fit in your body? 
Be like, any orifice? Any orifice. I don't care how many batteries could you fit inside of you. And if you have to go to the hospital, you lose. I mean, pay for the hospital bill, but if you put too many batteries inside of you, you lose. And if you put so many batteries inside of you that you need to go to the hospital, you lose. But if, like, you find a way to fit as many batteries as possible inside of your body, through your many orifices, your many orify, um, and you don't have to go to the hospital and you can get them right out, you win. I don't know, like 10 grand? Those small flat ones? No, not double ace. We talking double ace here. How many double A batteries do you think you could fit inside of your body? Reasonably. Because let me see. One in each ear, one in each nose. So that's four. I could probably fit eight in my mouth. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twelve. And then if we're going ass, I'd probably be economical. Because I wouldn't want to put that much in my ass. Because then I'd get like down the hospital route. So maybe like three. So like about fifteen. I think fifteen. Like, 15's a fair assumption. Yeah, this is the real stream chatter that you don't get with any other streamer. Oh, I was supposed to go fix the radio, I'm stupid. I'm not putting- no, I'm, I'm not gonna put any- I'm not gonna put any of the batteries inside the urethral zone, right? Hell no, and I can't just like slap open my balls and put a couple in there. Make my coin purse jingle, jangle, jingle. I can't do that shit. I'm missing one. Fuck. I need more battery. Ah, that was the quest item. Oh, okay, so I need one more. Give me reason to prove me wrong to bubble bee puppy. Where they got that last power cell at? Somebody hiding it? In a little secret? Somebody hiding it? Trying to hide it from me, aren't you? About to go fucking wacky mode on these sons of bitches. About to go fucking crazy mode on these sons of bitches. About to go fuck a, uh, fucking 39 dead, 12 buried. I don't know how many people... Chat, would you say that you live deliciously? Do you go throughout your whole life, your whole days? Do you live do you live deliciously, chat? I gotta know. You gotta tell me. Are you living your life grande mas? Are you living your life dangerously cheesy, chat? I gotta know. You're living your uh, living your life savory. This is so fucked. You got that jerky life. Me out here with that jerky life. Give me a pile of meat. Make me a jerky wife. Need one more prower cell. Where the fuck it at? Do they only give you two? Maybe they only give you two. Damn, bitch, you work like this? Did they really only give you two? I'm gonna double check real quick before I start this. I, I bet it's like, you only need two. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm Boo Boo the Fool. I've been Boo Boo the Fool this entire time. This whole time I was Boo Boo the Fool and nobody thought to tell me? Ridiculous. Brendan, I tried. I tried to tell you, Brendan, you weren't listening. I was listening this entire time. I just didn't want to hear it. All of chat standing up. I'm the booboo the fool. No, I'm booboo the fool. No, I'm dirty Dan. No, I'm dirty Dan. I'm living mirthfully. All mirthy and girthy. I'd be out there slithering and slathering instead. A lot of magnet around here. A lot of cube. No more power cells. Oh, I think that's it, unless I missed it. Oh, and it ain't behind that door. Alright, it's just gotta be those two then. Double checking, double checking. Oh, never mind. They tell me where they are. We can 
go and get one real quick. Oh, they're they're outside. All right, we're good. Is this Markiplier? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you hear me? That famous Markiplier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me when I, then when I, when I, when I, then I. Power cell right there. I took the one off the robot. Good bit. Markiplier, when he's hungry for nutrients, he'd be like. <laughs> yeah, just like that for real, for real. <laughs> Markiplier would never eat the neutral loaf. I would eat the neutral loaf. Markiplier would never eat the neutral loaf. Oh, log! How long could you survive in prison, Brendan? Um, indefinitely. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how boy. What are they gonna do? Kill me? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Cool. Alright, we know where the fuck he is. We know what he's about. I know where you are! I'm coming, Baron! Don't worry! Your favorite boy is coming! I'm a handsome lad! And I gotta save him from the pirate. Don't you worry, Barrett. Daddy's on the way. Hey, Lynn. So, I found him. You, you want to come with? Again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. <laughs> no, if I went to prison, garter inmates won't kill me because I'm going to walk around telling them hilarious jokes. Okay. Oh, hey, Lynn, you want to come with? Lynn, come with. Seems like you've been keep my contracts up. Sure. I don't mind taking more. Works for me. I'll go where I'm needed. Um... Ah, uh, no assignments available. I get it. It's fine. You just chill here. You're unassigned right now. You stay here. I'll assign you until like an outpost when I get an outpost set up. I mean, you got to remember if I if I need like tips on surviving prison, I have I have a lot of family members I can glean advice from. You forget that being in prison is like a natural state for half of my family. So like, you gotta understand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to get glean a lot of advice. I'm gonna make so many stab proof shirts in prison. It's gonna be crazy. What are you gonna do? Stab me? My shirt is stab proof, idiot. I'm gonna talk the guards into letting me wear chain mail. It's gonna be epic. Right. You gotta let me wear chain mail. I like to cosplay. You gotta, you gotta. Otherwise, I'm gonna go crazy. You can put me in solitary, but I'm gonna make weird, annoying noises all through the night. And I know you're gonna hate it. I'm gonna be like, eee! 24 hours, I can do it. You think I, you think, you think, you think you'd be able to shut me up even if you beat me up? Number one trait, be annoying as possible to survive prison. 
be so annoying that they're just gonna have to deal with my bullshit. Chainmail isn't stab proof, it's slash resistant. Okay, nerd. Oh, son of a bitch, I missed out on the sixth grade class! Fuck! I got a random encounter right when I got up into space. Hello, this is Mitmore, Mrs. Whitmore's sixth grade class. I'm so fucking mad I missed that. Son of a bitch. I should have waited. They're fucked. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. They're goofed. <laughs> that, that, that ship full of children? Stranded. Not my problem. Not my pig, not my farm, not my problem. Hello, Captain. Uh, we'll go over here first, because this might be just a funny little dungeon. This is what I'm talking about when I talk about the procedurally generated stuff. The procedurally generated stuff is better when you are, like, just seeing it while you're on your way to do something else. Let me in, let me in, let, ooh, got that moon gravity. Let me like, whoa. Oh, I have a status effect. Oh, I got a problem, am I poisoned? Oh, extreme ambient cold. All right, what they got over here? Ubius, dubious be over here. This abandoned or normal? This pirates are, it's deserted. All right, we got pirates or spacers. Pick your poison. It's one of the two poisons. It's poison. He's dead. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I'm here to cause problems. Y'all ever seen an arc welder? You should check this out. Take a little look. Isn't this cool? Hey, take a look at this. Isn't this cool? I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so maybe maybe the arc welder wasn't the greatest choice. I'm not gonna lie. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Not the best choice of weaponry for the Arc Welder. Um, I gotta go to the bathroom. Give me like three to five minutes. I'll be back with ya uh, when I can chat. Uh, just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna get a drink and then I'll return uh, in a couple of minutes. I'm back. Um, close that. Open that. Chat gonna say something nice like, Welcome back, Brendan! Or are you just gonna be like, This fucking guy, this fucking dude, this fucking guy, this fucking dude. Either is fine, honestly. I deserve either. This fucking guy, this fucking dude. Fuck you, Brendan. Yeah, fair, honestly. I bet you would. I bet you'd like that, huh, you little freak? Hi, honey, I'm home! Bits my poisons at you and shakes my little ass. See, that's an appropriate response to me coming back. <laughs> Anybody... Daddy's home. Be not afraid. Just don't be afraid. Are you afraid? Be not afraid. I love Starfield. Oh God, fight. They're jumping me right into this shit. Oh shit. Ah, uh, there we go. Can I hit? Great laser. I keep trying to use vats. Something is broken in my brain. Oh shit! There they go. I know something's busted in my head because I keep trying to use vats over and over again. Alright, let me in there. Shotgun time. It's time! It's time! It's time! I think Sam is blinding some of them. That's fine. Sam's got that. I got this. 
Oh, do they all leave? <laughs> they all run out to try to deal with Sam? Oops. Hi. Nope. Put it down. <laughs> Hi. And... Hi. Here we go. Put it down. Fuck, I love this shotgun. Oh, shit. Scary? Level 24, dude. There's so many levels. Die. Freaking out? Good. How the fuck are you still alive? Why you got so many bones in your body? I'm taking all the bones out. I'm so fucking sorry. Call me the bone buddy. Don't call me the bone buddy, actually. That's a horrible name for me. Why do I keep getting... What does a concussive knife do? That's not even a blunt instrument. How do you call it a concussive knife? What do you mean concussive? How you make a knife concussive? Ah, uh, come here. Just gonna concuss you. How do you do that for a knife? That's not how knives work. They're per per perforatory. They perforate your flesh. Now, if this was a concussive hammer, I'd get it. I definitely get it. Or if it was like a bong. Now that's some blunt force trauma. But a knife. Come on, Bethesda. Oh, butter. Even a waitress, more butter. Sam's doing it. Sam's got that shit. Grip the blade. Yeah, I gotta grip the blade very carefully. When I'm stabbing and slabbing, I gotta make sure that I'm killing them the right way. Normal style. Stab. Concussive. It's concussive. It's a concussive knife. You ever seen this before? It concusses ya. You, come here. Time for your concussion. Come here. Yeah. 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 Easy peasy, bitch. We out here concussing. Somebody had a blue thingus on they. Not this guy. Was it this guy out here in the sand? And snow? Ugh. Cool snow planet. Me out here yelling Skyrim is for the Nords. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. It's a joke. What's that? Somebody steal your sweet roll? <laughs> Bitch. They still got, like, one guy in here, don't they? Maybe it's a vibro knife? Who the fuck knows what kind of knife it'd be? All I know is it's fucked up and crazy. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. No, where are you? Seriously. There's, like, one guy. Did Sam get him? Hi. Hi. Was he stuck in there? Oh, you got locked in. You're not locked in there with me. But you will be. There, there's no more to that. Alright, I fucked that up. Shit. Doing this one? Where does this fit at? It says this fits. Oh, right here. If we do that, we'll have enough space for this. Nope. Fuck. Oh, I can just fill it with that one. Cool. This one fits. Does it fit here? Here? Ah, eh, there we go. Hi. Hi. Was there nothing else in here aside from that guy? Was that it? You gotta look sometimes, because sometimes they hide, like, old earth items. Mercury! Hi, Sam. Do you like... Do you like feeling tall, Sam? <laughs> Is that why you're on top of the table? You got something you want to tell me, Sam? Do you like feeling big? 
Do you like being a big man, Sam? Do you like being a big boy? Huh? He's huge. He loves being huge. Yeah, Sam? You really feeling it? I really just... I, there was nothing in here. What the fuck? Cool guy. What a fucking waste. Ooh, sushi rolls. You gotta be looking for all kinds of sorts of crap because some of the old earth stuff is really cool, but like hidden. And that's like the only thing I think I really like about the proc gen stuff or the procedurally generated stuff is that sometimes you find an old earth earth thing and it like give you a lot of money. Very cool. Oh shit. Another thing that I'm glad Bethesda brought back are these. We love our physics propelled tubes. We love the tubes! I don't think enough people talk about the tubes being back. More people should talk about how they brought the tubes back. Ah, oh, bits and bobs. Everybody always be out there collecting bits on Twitch, but there ain't no- there ain't not enough bobs on Twitch, am I right? Ooh, sparkling water. Yum. Oh, funny books. We love to read. Oh, I never checked these. Cube! Oh, fuck. He got... This man's be saving toast. Oh, did I take a card? Whatever. What else we got in here? Anything else? Oh, the comet. We love book. Frankenstein. Bitchin. I saw Dracula. I was waiting for it. I was like, they gotta have Mary Helly's Franken fuck. Garen fucking teed. Uh, Brennan, excuse me. Frankenstein monster. Oh, sorry. Once again, I've been destroyed in a battle of intellectual wits. Uh, You've destroyed me on the debate field once again, good chum. Great one, good one, good one, great one, chum. Oh. In a battle of wits, I'm just a, si a simple bitch. Gotta find another copy of Dracula. We smoking symbiotes. I'm on them Nashville nibblers. I'm on them Georgetown Geronimos. I'm on them Broward County Tic Tacs. Top Shelf Zaza disrupted my circadian rhythm. This bitch is the Matrix because I'm stuck in here and I can't get out. Moving like Oppenheimer, she dropped her ass on me from an egregious angle. They must have amnesia. They forgot I'm him. Man, so sad. Dracula flows mainstream. It's slowly becoming mainstream. You're gonna be seeing a bunch of fucking uh. German, German, you gotta watch German, you gotta watch Dracula flow. Dr German, German, German. It's gonna happen. Watch. Wait for it. Watch. And then he's gonna be like, what is this? What? I don't. What? What is it? What is this? I don't. What? Did you take the time to actually memorize Dracula Flow, or did you just watch it that many times? I've only seen it like five times. It's just stuck in my head. I just talk like that. Let's 
like Dracula flow ain't nothing. I just talk like that. <laughs> Meet me out here on the space rock. Let's get down to bopping and bipping. I like all the cool rocks, not gonna lie. Big fan of the big crystal. I feel like I'm on a giant PS2 level. Where's our boy Barrett? Is that our boy Barrett? Or is that uh, the other guy? Oh, that's the other guy. That's Heller. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. Barrett was all, sorry, brother, I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling. I mean, let's be real here. Pirates are notoriously stupid. They got poop brain. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a yeah. lot of painkillers? Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Atlas, for the Prime yeah. Spob. Really we enjoying some excited. excellent dialogue. Showed up. Barrett, uh, uh, Barrett wanted, uh, I mean, Heller wanted some initiative, so Barrett blew up their entire quadrant. True, true. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Of course. The ship before they grabbed you. Hey. Uh, uh, yeah. Just, uh, give me a minute. I think the. Let me know when you want to head. Okay. Oh, we can recruit Heller's crew. Awesome. I'm going to leave him on this rock. I think there might be a spot. Phew. Oh, I'm glad you... You got it. Catch up. He's not assigned. He's just going to live here. You're fine here, right? Yeah, he's fine here. I'm not worried about it. What if I just stick him on this planet? I make an outpost here and I just stick him here. I was like, isn't this nice? Isn't this sweet? We put you on a funny little rock and we'll never talk again. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? What, are you, what if you just lived on this rock? Don't you like this rock? You like the side of your own rock? Right, we're going to go over here and check out this structure and then we're going to leave. We got shit to do, bitch. We got to go find Barrett. This is a good rock. I'd live here. You know what? Fair. I, th I think this is a pretty cool rock. I think we should make a little outpost and then assign them here. You live the rock. You love the rock. When's the last time you actually saw your rock? Yeah? I ain't got no big rock. Have you made a big outpost yet? I haven't fucked on the outpost at all. I haven't fucked with the system at all. 
It's mostly for, like, gathering and slathering resources, and I'm just like, I don't really care. I like my freedom. I don't want to bound myself to any one home, but... Still, I have a mortgage to pay. I still haven't paid off my mortgage. I'm a big man, a big meaty man with a mighty mortgage to pay. You have enough to pay it. Yeah, but do I want to pay it is the thing? Do I care enough about my luxury home? Do I really care? You think this is a game? You think I really care? I don't know. I'm torn. I'm a little torn to sunder. Because I ain't know. I ain't know. I got to drop some shit. Too much garbage in my freaking inventory. Time to get it all out. Too much garbage in my freaking inventory. Time to drop it all. What is that? A bolstering? Bolstering? I don't care. Too much shit in my fucking inventory. Time to drop it all. That's good enough for now. Bye bye. Hey, Captain. Found this pile of guns out here on this rock. Cool. Free gun. Oh, we got more pirate, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. Oh boy, fighting pirates out here in the settled systems. Sorry, sometimes a gunfire fires, sometimes it fire any kind of thing. Oops. Sometimes a gun shoot fires, sometimes it shoot poison. It's kind of luck of the draw that way. Gotcha. Whoopsies. Cool, Grendel. I pick up every Grendel because it's like 50 free ammo every time. I am a Grendel lover. If I was in Beowulf's position, I would never kill that creature. I would just make him my son. Then I hang out with his mom all day. Watch him playing on the PlayStation 4. You winning, son? Yeah. Getting really good at Fortnite on this thing, aren't you? Yeah. How do you like the gameplay so far? Simple. I mean, it's just Bethesda, like, shooting. Nothing crazy. I like the shotgun a lot. It do be big pumping. Hi. Oh shit, Strange. Huge, aren't you? Cool axe. I'm just in here getting all the, uh, I'm taking all the man meat. Every bit of meat, every bit of man. It's mine, bitch. Was that a vice grip? Ooh, hammer. Man, I wish I could pick up one of these hammers and like club somebody over the head with it. Sad that you can't do that. Broken to hell. I really thought there'd be a super sledge analog in this too. Like I've not seen a two-handed melee weapon yet. Like what, 15 hours in the game? 16, 17 hours in the game? Not a single two-handed melee weapon. It's sad. You could solve all the problems in Beowulf with the PS4. Yeah, somebody being rowdy, somebody being fucked up. Give them the PS4. Let them play Spider-Man PS4. They're gonna lose their fucking minds. They're gonna be like, what kind of witchcraft is this? Such devilry! They'll be like, that guy in a red suit, he fly around on the web. They'll be like, oh, what ho? Oh, how wonderful. Fucked up that you can't rupture somebody's spacesuit. You can, though. Watch this. <laughs> Todd, you done it again! <laughs> what the fuck? What, what the <laughs> Fuck. I love this game. 10 out of 10, best game of the year. 10, I needed that laugh today. 10 out of 10, best game I ever played. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. 
<laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Take that one to the bank, boys. Starfield's a 10 out of 10. Some people be like, um, why are ragdolls the way they are? Well, do we still really need ragdolls for, like, game design? And I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, we fucking do. Bless Bethesda. Uh, where's my law giver at? There it is. Fucking got him. There he goes. All right, we can get up in here now. We can cause some yucky, yucky problems for him. I'm surprised this game doesn't have like a power uh, power armor analog too. Was another thing, cause like I, w I was surprised there's not like a like an exosuit you can fucking get. Oh well, not a big deal. That's not like a game over game ender. That's not like a definite this game sucks moment. I love a lot of the guns in this game. Big fan of the old world stuff, though. I want to I wanna be able to get, like, a good old world shotgun or something. Oh, credits. Oh, credits. Listen here. Oh, I got a mortgage to pay. Daddy got bills. Oh, let's see. Pirates! I need to get that combat slide. Run at me. You're silly. What the fuck, dude? Gotcha. You get a lot of rare gear, but it's just... Anything that ain't anything that ain't yellow, almost kind of worthless. And honestly, I might get rid of this one, this laser pistol I have. I'm not really using it a lot. Who the fuck be blowing shit up? Who the fuck be exploding shit down there? What the fuck are you doing? I thought that was John Green's default in our stars for a second. I was about to freak out. Gotta look at everything, bitch. Listen, they got a lot of knickknacks. They got a lot of thingamabobs. A lot of doohickeys. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Old Earth hunting rifle. Is that different than Old Earth sniper rifle? No, that's still the VSD. Okay. I thought it would be a bolt action. Wild if they put a bolt action in this son of a bitch. Give me Lincoln's repeater. Where's Lincoln's repeater? VSS, not VST. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gun. And I'd be like, gun! And you'd be like, gun! And we'd be like, gun! I'm dead. Can I be like, reload and run away? Follow me. Use your simple Bethesda AI and follow me. Sh what is it? Shrimple bitch. Gotcha. What did I say? Use your incredible Bethesda AI. Follow me. Fight me. Try to kill me. Kelly's slate. Uh, aw. They built a ramp for one of their co-workers. Ain't that nice? Oh, Sam wants to talk to me. Should I engage in talkie? The Constellation logo looks kind of like the NASA logo. You can actually find a, um, at the very beginning of the game, uh, before you get to the character creator, uh, before you touch the artifact, there's a little hidden rock hole. Inside of that is an old Earth uh, NASA cup. It's not worth a lot. 
Uh, but it's the only time I've seen uh, the NASA logo in the game. And I think that's pretty neat. And it's right at the beginning of the game. Uh, there's like a secret rock wall that you can break. I just think it's neat. Uh, it says this one will work. It's right there. I think I'll have enough space. There we go. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in, let me in, let me in. What do we got? Ooh, Equinox. That's so cool. I'm going to drop that right away. Not a big laser weapon fan in this one. Um, but then again, any of the laser weapons, I mean, I, they're just not going to hit as hard as Funny Big Bullet Gun. Man, demand to know what the background is for Brendan's character. Chef. We got a mortgage. We got a we got a adoring fan. We got Chef. We do be chefing around. Drop that because we don't need that shit. Is it worth? I I'll, I'll keep this because it's worth selling. But the next chance I get, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fixing some of my guns around here and get rid of some crap. Gotta find a good planet for an outpost. I swear. What in here? One inch punch. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did I just get the same? F Rounds fire in a shotgun like spread. And it's a two round burst. What in the goddamn is this game on? This game on some luxurious Yaza. Got some big Zaza. Oh, he's in there. Well, I'm glad he's in there and that I'm out here and that he's frozen in there and that we're out here. And that he's the sheriff. Oh, but I'm getting in there. All right, let's see what the master lockpicking be like. Oh, this bitch is bananas. Oh, this bitch is bananas. Do I have one that's three? I don't. What other ones fit in here? This one also fits in here. Nope, undo. Shit. Fuck, I fucked it up. Damn it, son of a bitch. This one's tough. Holy fuck. This one only works in this one, so this has got to be one of them. Kind of figuring it out, though. That's got to be one of them. That one only works in the last one, so we'll save that one. This one works on this one. But not only this one. And then with this one. Okay. Are there any that only work on this level is the thing? Try that. God, they, they, they just get harder. I'm like, oh, boo. Oh, I, oh, boy. What a fucking toughie. There we go. We're done. Some of the lockpicking in this. All the gun is poison. All the gun is poison. All my guns are poison. All my gun is poison. Beowulf? Oh, fuck. There is a gun named Beowulf. They got a Grendel and a Beowulf. Oh, bitch. I was thinking that was just a one-time thing. 
Oh, bitch. That's just the bigger Grendel. I get it. I got the fucking Beowulf in here. Maybe like Skyrim is for the Nords, you son of a bitch. I'd be like, that's fucking rude, dude. That's fucked up. That's crazy. Why am I the Dovahkiin? Why am I a lizard? I don't know. It didn't have a lot in there. For like a for like a master unlock door, not a lot. I mean, we got the Beowulf, which cool gun, and he's a thick rectangle, and we like it. We do like it. We do like seeing the Beowulf. V the Grendel. Use the same ammo. I'm assuming the Beowulf is just a better Grendel, basically. We ain't need it. Nice to have, but we ain't need it. I'm sorry. I'm snarry. I'm trying to... Ooh, that one forever. Gonna be wearing this one forever. It's basically a better version of that. And it's also got a better boost pack on it, so... We dropping, we slopping. I got a lot of shit I gotta get rid of. Don't mind me. Why is Grendel such a good name? I don't know. Sometimes people sometimes people have called me Brendel, because I'm also a creature. Ah, the Brendel has arrived. Oh, you got any Mountain Dew? I'm a little hungry guy. I'm a thirsty. Arr! Arr! That's me. That's me walking around your town. When I visit your city, that's me. I'll be going, Arr! 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 Sorry, I got that dog in me. Got that thog in me. Shit, I fucked this one up. Got that one. Okay. Is it this one? And then we do this one. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Gotta find me the, like, a good M1911 and I'll be set for the rest of the game. Beeping? Hello, computer. Computer, hello. Hello, computer. Computer, hello. Oh, I like their little laptop stand here. That's neat. Everybody put your IMAX in the right and proper place or I'm gonna freak out. We go through this shit every fucking week, dude. Every fucking week. You're not putting your iMac away, and I'm fucking sick of it, dude. Put your iMac away, or I'm gonna freak out. This one easy. This shit like the Matrix, because I'm stuck in this bitch and I can't get out. Yeah, the new lock picking stuff. Whoa! The new lock picking stuff is genuinely pretty good. I'm not. I thought. I. I, I definitely thought I'd find myself like irritated with it. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. And and Sam still wants to talk to me. All right, Sam. While we're in this raider base, why don't you tell me what you got in your mind? You got your fucking follow request open now, don't you? All right, Adam Jensen. Tell me what you never asked for. Ooh. Ramen. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> yeah, but no autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Well, the Skyrim and Fallout lockpicking minigame, they were, it was way more interesting on console uh, with a controller. And that's because if you play those games with keyboard and mouse, you don't get the resonant feedback, like the, the, the vibrational feedback. On Fallout 3, I think 3, Skyrim and Fallout 4, when you had a controller and you were playing those games with a controller, whenever you moved the pick, uh, the controller would vibrate in the direction that you were having resistance against. And, like, with the controller, the lockpicking was way more cool. Without a controller, you just kind of had to fucking, like, okay, moving it this way. All right, cool. So I like the new lockpicking because it's, it's more of a puzzle instead of just a fucky guesswork. 
I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Korra, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Korra to... <laughs> I don't know. Well then, Korra's gonna get a five-star university education from me. From my father, Korra, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> That's what I like about you. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. All right, good shit. We talked to Sam. Can't wait to make an outpost and then just drop him off on that planet forever. It's, it's just forever. Forever and ever, Sam. Ooh, statues. Oh, I can't take that one. I can only take the vases. What the fucks? What the f Todd? Ooh. A semi-metal wafer. Ooh. Who be on the computer? I could have just opened the storage room with the computer, too. Fuck me. I wasted so many digipics, dude. Now I be out here venting. Or I could have gone this way. I chose not to travel the pipes because I didn't need to. I wonder if gravity, um... I mean, I assume it does, but, like... Gravity, like... Wow. I wonder how much fall damage I gotta take to fucking die. Why'd I take that hammer? You know what? I took that hammer. I stick with it. I made that choice. I'll, I'm gonna carry that weight. Still insane fucking gun. Oh man, now I gotta make gun choices whenever I find the next merchant. I want more random merchants, damn it, Todd. If you're gonna put more random shit in your videos game, give me more random merchants. I want some guy just out here peddling his fucking wares. Hello there, stranger. What are you buying? And then I want to buy and sell things to him. Damn it, Todd. What the fuck are you doing? You're silly. Are you trying to break in there? You don't even know I killed all your friends. I got the goo gun. Get the fuck out of here. I'm allowed in here. I got permission. Ooh, a magnet. You having trouble there, Sam? You doing all right, Sam? You thinking, Sam? Whoa! That was goofy. Oh, what the fuck? What do you mean, explosive? What? Oh, wait a minute. Deals double damage to targets with full health. Randomly deals corrosive damage. Randomly switches to explosive rounds. What the fuck do I keep finding? Why is that still... Okay, it disappeared. Why the... Why? And why only pistols? Brennan, why aren't you using face cam? Just curious. I don't like face cam. Um, I have uh, little habits. And I don't like... Uh, them being on the screen. I, I pull up face cam every once in a while for chat, but it's genuinely just a, I don't really like it. I just, I get uncomfortable with it on. Um, unless I'm doing a specific bit. So I, I also like um, when I watch streams, like the streams I like are clean. Like I'll do like, I don't know, sub notifications or bit notifications or dono notifications, but I don't like anything cluttering up the screen other than the game.
right? So I, 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 don't, I don't mind like other streamers using face cam or utilizing it. Um, but I like it to be more of a special treat. If you got to see my mean mug, uh, I'll pull up my mean mug for you as like a special little treat for you. Yeah, I pick my nose a lot. I, I, I almost always I have two fingers up there. I play one handed on my controller, one hand on my nose, the other hand on the controller. Not any other fucked up reason or anything. Haha, <laughs> tee hee. No, obviously it's that I'm always nude, yeah. I'm always streaming naked in the buff. I don't know, for me at least, a lot of the streams I watch, um, I prefer there not being a face. Or just anything cluttering up the screen. It's more human feeling when you're on screen. See, that's worse, because I don't want to I don't want you to feel like I'm human. I want you to feel like I'm a freak. I was born from nightmares and I am a nightmare. I don't want to humanize my ass. I want to dehumanize my ass. Turn my ass into, I don't know, granite. Like rock. Rock ass. More this and less you. But I get it. Like people like face cam because then they can ascribe like a face to the funny man saying things. I don't like it because I have weird little habits and, and, and I guess like little facial cues and tics that I don't like. Unless I like ready myself for it, right? That there is a steady, relentless, soul-crushing hum of industry. Yay. I don't, I don't do face cam because I think I'm ugly or I think I'm unhandsome. I just don't. I, I'm just weirdly uncomfortable with it unless I ready myself for it. And also, like I said, it's it's better for me IMO if it's like a better like a special little treat for chat too. I like it. I like it being a special little treat for chat. You know, if I show my face, it's gonna be like, whoa, Brindle. Whereas if I had it on all the time, it's just not special. But I do totally get it. Like other streamers definitely take advantage of it. Um and for some people that's like a make or break for streams too, is like, I don't wanna just be watching a stream and then like see the videos game. I want to see the guy. Um, but I also like to, I don't like to completely dissuade parasocial relationship stuff because that's literally part of my job is to sell myself to you. Um, but I also don't want anybody to be like so hyper obsessive about me uh, that they, I don't know, have like a Brendan folder full of Brendan screenshots. I want to have a healthy relationship with the chat. And part of that is like separating myself without the without the face cam. So it's a, it's a whole litany of different things uh, of why I don't do face cam regularly. And like I don't really need face cam because face cam is also something where like it helps if the streamer has dead air if you can see their face. And I don't have dead air. I don't never I don't never stop talking. So face cam is just going to add like another element of jingling the keys that I don't think I need. As my ass just doesn't shut up. For better or for worse. I mean. <laughs> oh, what is this? Talk to Davis Wilson. Arguing with a scientist about a way to develop to protect the city better from the Ashta. You know what? I will do that. That does sound fun. Let's do a little side quest about the dogs. Those dogs do be barking. Will you start doing react streams and then just leaving the room? Oh, fucking never. I hate reaction content. If I do reaction content, it's going to be on my fucking terms. I hate react content. I do. Especially if you're not going to add anything to it, right? At the very fucking least, if you're going to do reaction content, add something to it. Do something with it. If you're just a streamer and you're just watching shit in silence with your chat there. That just sucks. If I if I show you YouTube video for a bit or if like we watch like commercials or something, um, I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to make it special or better. But if you're just like watching something with your chat and then not reacting or not talking about it at all, it's like check out this YouTube video and then silence and then wow, what a YouTube video. Okay. Lame. Like, do it. Whatever. Get that money. Get that bread. Fucking lame. That sounds miserable to me. If I'm going to, like, watch stuff and I get it. It's like, well, it's like watching stuff with friends. And it's like, I'll go watch stuff with friends. I don't know. I have more fun doing that. 
I'll go on Discord. We'll watch a movie. We'll watch a TV show. We'll watch YouTube videos. We'll hang out. We'll chill out. I just don't like React content. Friend, it never I made sense to me. I'm not At least add something to it. I know. I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but... Well, I can't seem to help it. Not a shred of awareness in her. It's shocking is what it is. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us... <laughs> to be fair, though, like, I've been making fun of reaction content since, like, what, 2017? For... Let me see if I can find that. Actually, let's see if we can find an old Brendan video. Reaction time video time. Brendan Daniel. How old is that? Uh, nine years ago. Nine years ago. I made this video, by the way. We're, we're, we're going to react to this video that I made nine, nine years ago in my mom's basement. No, no, this is uh my first apartment. No, this is my second apartment. This, this is one of my apartments. Let's react to this. Brim bitches, it's Brenpa here, and I'm gonna be doing a reaction video. And I googled spooky sounds, scary sounds, mystery sounds, universe sounds, and I found the sounds of the universe. It's a NASA recording. It's basically if the universe had sound and what's 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 magically listening. But I'm gonna be doing a reaction video, and basically, a reaction video is where I watch. I still got that shirt watch somewhere. Me watching the video because you're watching a video of me watching a video, and it's really interesting to see what I do when I react to watching this video because this video is a really interesting video, and you should really check out my other videos because my videos are so interesting. You're gonna cry. Like and subscribe. If you don't rate and subscribe, I'm gonna call the police and kill your parents all right get ready to watch this awesome video with me <laughs> that, that, that looked like boobs right there <laughs> you know, you know, you get a little... <laughs> horrifying 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 i'd be making fun of reaction videos nine years ago Years again for a damn good reason. We get it wrong. We now did he still talk so fast? Then he asked to kill innocent people. Oh, let me see. Um, do you hear the flippity jibbity jibber jabber? Then, oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I have another word to sell another story to tell another time. The time he's ringing the bell. No, I could probably do the ultimate showdown faster. It really depends on what it is. Like, that was partially scripted, so like, I could do that. And I've slowed down my talking on purpose because I used to talk too fast. What is it? Uh, Old Godzilla was hopping around Tokyo City like big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade and hit Godzilla with a back grenade. Godzilla got pissed to began to attack but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq. Proceeded to open a can of Shaq Fu when Aaron Carter came out of the blue and he started beating up Shaquille and he both got flying by the Batmobile before he made it back to the back cave. Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave, took naked for the same round from under his hat. A blue Batman waved around his hat, but he ran out of bullets, but he ran away because Optimus Time could save the day. Something like that. I, it depends on the day, too. Like, you gotta get me at the right energy level to be able to do it. I still talk fast. I just slowed it down a little bit. I pulled back a little bit. Five dollars, five dollars, can I get a five dollars, five, 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 five dollars over here, five, 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 we got a suave couch, we got a suave couch, we got a suave, nice couch, we got a red and brown couch, sold to the fellow over there. Five, five, can I get a ten, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, raise it up to ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, can I get a twenty-five, twenty-five over here, twenty-five over here, twenty-five over here, thirty dollars over there to the nice gentleman with the mustache, twenty-five, twenty-five, thirty dollars, thirty dollars, forty-five dollars, sold to the woman in the wig. I mean, it really depends. Like, you gotta hit me, like, in the right moment, in the right mood. Because it really depends on how well my mouth moved that day. I'm not just gonna be able to, like, pop it off and slop it off, right? I slowed down. I slowed down on purpose. Uh, because I was talking too fast. I was going too fast. I had that motor mouth a-running. Motor mouth was a-chugging. So I slowed down. I, I pulled it back a little bit. Can you do a good whistle? Yeah, I can do a good whistle. Yeah, I can do something that other people can't do. I have my uh, my special my special noise. Let me uh. Took me a year in high school to learn how to do that. How? Okay, you squeeze your mouth together and you pull air, and then you do that for a year straight. Um, and then you could do that. Pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave. I got a lot of silly noises. I used to do a lot of the um the Half-Life head crab zombie. 
Um, because I just, like, got weirdly obsessed with Half-Life in, like, high school, right? Because Gmod Idea Box, I found it, and I was like, oh my god! So then I was, like, literally sitting around my house, screaming like a headcrab zombie. Uh, horrible for my mom. Epic for me, though. We need to be smarter. Better in the way we handle the Ashta. Well, you sure don't look what like you're fuck? delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? I love making goofy, silly noises. I got a goofy, silly mood. Correction. Mr. Brendan the Menace. I mean, I am genuinely a menace. I can't tell if he's just being willfully ignorant or has just entirely misunderstood my proposals. I'm not sure what you've heard or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashta to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. I feel like I just got broadsided by the fine print. Do you know what the hell she just said? Okay, well, I must need to... I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact. Just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to play some sensor? That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. Okie dokie. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the mean. I feel like I'm doing something bad. But she, it, I mean, I make money. So like, I, I feel like I'm doing a little bad thing, right? I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, hey, will you place these sensors around the city in inconspicuous places? Yeah, sure. Is that like a good thing? Am I doing something evil? Am I doing something bad? Will you put these sensors in the poor part of town? Interesting. Interesting. I might be doing something bad here. Um, please place these sensors in the poor part of town. I'm realizing I might be doing something a little horrible here. How bad could it be? You're getting paid. You know what? You're right. I have a luxury home. You live in a pod. Clearly, we're not on the same level. I'm much better than you. Pointing and laughing. Ha! Have you ever gotten to New Atlantis? <laughs> I bet you haven't. Yeah, really? Just putting them in the poor parts of the city. Okay. I actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. What's the Red Mile? But he did walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? What's the Red Mile? Go to Red... What the fuck is... Is that like spaceship racing? You're gonna make me do the Kessel Run in under 12 parsecs? Is that the right one? I don't know. I don't know the, the Stars War, so I hope that's the right one. You got some good news, I hope? Yes. I placed yeah, the sensors. That, then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Okay. Oh, goodness. I re the, uh, I should only need a few. Or if you're feeling particularly rebellious. Maybe as oh, you want to cause a ruckus? I'm not going to cause a ruckus. Don't worry. Steal something in front of the guard. No, 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 no. We'll get him to leave the tower. I'm going to tell him it's time for his break. This is uh, kind of sketchy. It's time for your break. Ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Ashta are more aggressive. At it's time for your break. What brings you to the wall? Boredom. I need a few minutes alone here for a good cause. Um, look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Damn it. I know you'd like to help me if you could. You don't know what you're talking about. You have anything better to? I don't persuade. Fuck you. I'm just trying to be careful here. I, I win. Don't worry. We're doing good things here. Not bad things. Good things. Nothing sketchy at all. I promise. Ow. Fear. 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 Hi. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. 
And yet, you once enough data has been collected. I'll... If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, she is just trying to help the town. She's trying to come up with a better defensive strategy for the Ashta. Because those dogs do be barking. I'm gonna sleep in this bed. Free pod. Mine. Free pod! My pod now. Who be sleeping in my pod? Listen, I said I wanted a long rest. I'm getting a long rest. Sam's like pushing me like, dude, wake up. Dude, dude, wake up. Dude, you gotta wake up, dude. Oh man, I selected 24 local hours, but I'm on a planet that the days last for three years. Oops. I just Rip Van Winkled this shit. <laughs> She winkle on my rip till I van. She van my rip till I winkle. She. <laughs> what year is it? Oh, 24 hours. I thought you meant sleep for 24 years. All right, talk to Keone. Hi. Oh, did somebody fuck with her data? Oh, it's you. I, nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that. But now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. No, the tech is fine. I never... Look, I know I screwed up here, but this, I'm not gonna lie. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let me see what's going on. Something clearly is going down through the entire town. Man, all I did was a little bit of sensor tampering. All I did was tamper with some sensors. Why is everybody so mad at me? Well, I mean, I'd be pissed at you if I was in the, the, that position. Oh, stairs. I just want to fly, for fuck's sake. Hello, Davis. That's cool, Davis. I got a lot of things on my plate right now, so unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Well, ain't that just about the last damn thing I need right now? Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. You don't know that. I don't know that. But at least I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Now, I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you're so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? Yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Give yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out. Davis gonna show me his scary creatures. Gear up, let's go fight some creatures. I love fighting creatures. Let's go, Davis. Show me what those creatures be like, do. All right. Okay, then. 
Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and maybe we'll get some answers. Let's go look at creatures. It's creature time. All right, I just got to follow him, right? And then look for like the weird dogs. Show me those weird dogs. God, I wish he had like a car or something. It's still wild to me. These tracks, they're all wrong. Ah, I see. These are not the right creatures. Let's keep going. I see. Different kind of creature. I understand. I want this aluminum. Don't mind me, Davis. You go on up ahead. I'm getting rocks. On a couple of cool rocks. Davis, check out these cool rocks I found. They're freaking awesome, dude. Oh, is it going to be like a fucking terror morph? Oh my fucking god, those are some big bumpers. What the fuck happened to we? Fine. Oh, somebody set it out to mimic the Ashta. Oh, fuck. I thought it was going to be a terror morph. Ah, skags. Oh wow, this gun. Oh my god. Todd, you done it again? He's dead. We got him. We are dogs, but we took care of him. Eyes up, Guardian. There's some skags up ahead. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? Hmm. Maybe this is someone's idea of a joke? No, this almost cost us lives. No one I know would think that's funny. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over. See if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. <sighs> totally gonna own some bozo. They're gonna be like, I was just worried about job security. There are less and less Ashta each year. We gotta be killing those dogs. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. What? Brandon, now that you've accepted your hair, how long until you accept that your eyelids are going to get real big like a bloodhound? Oh, do you want me to start streaming like this? Oh, oh don't worry, Rock the Scoopies. I'm so sorry. Pulling out the goofy dog look again, I see. Oh, father. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> well, you don't like it? You don't like the droopy dog? Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm having such a luxurious time with the stream. Oh, jeez. Oh, me. Oh, my. Who hates Droopy Dog? Come on now. Oh, Brendan, you're so great. You're so handsome. We're all saying this, aren't they? They love to say it. We hate Droopy Dog. Why do you hate Droopy Dog? Welcome to the stream. I love Starfield. Oh, jeez. Like three people left. They hated Droopy Dog. I love it whenever I do a bit and you see the view count drop immediately. Alright, check the computer. Hey, who's been downloading? Hey, kid, I'm a computer. <laughs> Stop all the downloading. I 
Ah, Kirkland B. Bailey Kirkland. A good one? Bailey Kirkland, you are under arrest. Hi. If it you. For the walls, the whole town would be an you are under arrest. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him. He's... <clears throat> Brendan, do your best Macho Man, Randy Savage, or Jesse Ventura. Let me tell you something about the way this world works. Oh, yeah. I've been fighting skags out in the borderlands long before anybody else is. Oh, yeah. The strongest will survive in Todd's game. Oh, yeah. Starfield. I know what you did. Uh, I seen it with my eyes. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the. We smoking symbiotes. I'm on them Broward County Tic Tacs. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much. Ops wanted some initiative. Oh yeah, so I blew up their entire quadrant. I get you. Um, Bribe me. Here. It's all I've got. I mean, Bailey is no angel, but real. I'm shaking her down, and I'm still gonna tell Davis. Sam didn't like that. I wanted the money, I'm sorry. Still gonna tell Davis. Right, you see where CM Punk has been wanting out of AEW to go back to WWE since at least December 2022? Yeah, because he's a baby. He's a thin-skinned baby, and they're not going to take him back. And even if they do take him back, then it's then he's their problem. Take him back, fucking take CM Punk. We need to get to the bottom of it. The robot center. You have any better? Bailey did it. What? No way. My own people's. Well, I'm out to go deal with. I'll kick some credits your way. Then I get double paid. some time to get clean data. See, that way you get double paid. It's better that way. Looks like we got another off world. Right? And then I gotta wait 24 hours to talk to Keone again. Okie dokie. What y'all talking about? Chilling? Cooling? Little bit of illin'? We gotta find a bed to sleep in. There's free bed. I gotta wait 24 more hours. Brendan, I have 330 hours in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm so fucking sorry for you. I put 80 hours in. 80 hours of my life. Never, uh, never getting them back. I actually like this game. Oh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I ooh, can't stand it. And I, I only can't stand it because there are certain video games that just have too much bloat. And Valhalla is one of those where there's 20 hours of good game locked in there uh, behind 80 hours of Ubisoft bullshittery. You can climb that tower. Okay, now go and fight one of these eight guys you have to fight. And then we put all of the cool looking cosmetics behind uh, uh, microtransactional paywalls. And then all of the story stuff, you you can do the story stuff, but you have to do the other stuff to be able to level up to do the story stuff. I just don't like it. And like every Ubisoft game, I mean, especially in that period where they released Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Phoenix Immortals Rising, and uh, Far Cry 6. That whole period of time they released those games. I think Far Cry 6 was like a year later, maybe. Um, I played all of them, and I just couldn't handle any of the sludge. 
It's just, it's just too much. They put too much crap in the game. My ass played Rainbow Six Siege Extraction. So we have to be prepared. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? No, I go looking for it. Well, whatever gets you through the day. I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Things here have been, well. Brendan Asmongold said this game is bad, so you shouldn't play it anymore. Well, I don't care what. A, who the fuck is that? Is that that guy where, like, I saw a video and he had, like, he was, like, a big streamer and then he had a giant, like, he had a bunch of trash all around him? And I saw, like, a video of him, like, cleaning up the garbage? That's all I know. If that's that guy, I remember there was some big streamer who had, like, a, a yeah, ton, a billion, like, a bunch of garbage and, like, big drinks. And like a bunch of trash all over his okay. office. Of and he's like, yeah, I'm cleaning it up, you know? And it's like, I, yeah, I was like, what I'm the really fuck? Worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge. Or at least a little too close to it. No, he's not. He's out there at least four and a half times as frequently. There's something else going on. I'm Brent, I'm gonna give you a license to talk about wrestling. What did you think of All Out? All Out was bell to bell better than All In. Wrestling wise. You think you could go speak to him? All Out was really good. I really enjoyed it. That's why I took yesterday off. Because I just fucking loved All Out. Uh, especially the OC Mox match. Either way that it went, it made them both look amazing. Huge fan of that pay-per-view. I gotta go and rewatch it. Another day, another shift. My brother was at Strabeck, and he... I don't know. I don't, I don't... Like, whenever a big streamer says something about a video game, I'm always like, I do not care. I, I just... I don't care. Like, a, a big streamer usually, like, will get in and talk about a video game for, like, 50 minutes without saying anything of substance. So I just end up not caring. I've tried to watch big streamers talk about video games before, and I'm just like, this is the most, like, based... Uh, like, re based on Reddit take, milk toast bullshit ever. Have a fucking opinion. Like... <laughs> I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. <laughs> And I'm sure there's there there there's some good big streamers out there. I'm sure, um, but like I don't know. I anytime I see a clip of a big streamer talking about video games that they don't like, it's always like this is the most milk toast, like eat it right out of the fridge, babyest gamer take I've ever seen ever. I don't mean that they're a bad person, and I'm not calling the question of their character into action. I just like I okay, like that's great. It's like eating a round of Nutra loaf. Like my ass be a zesty pepper meatloaf. And if you don't like meatloaf, don't come to the stream. But like, if you like meatloaf, I'm perfect for you. Can't say I'm surprised. So what can I do for you? I ain't gonna start shit. But I will say, in general, milk toast motherfuckers out there eating they toast and they bread, eating macaroni and cheese every day. And that's fine. You want to eat macaroni and cheese every day? A little bit plain? That's fine. She still manages to strike a nerve. You want some zesty lemon pepper chicken? Come to my house. Knock on my door. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. What happens, Brendan, when you become a, the popular streamer? That'll never fucking happen. I've said it for years and I'll say it for years. I'm lucky as hell that I even have an audience and I appreciate every single one of you. Like, that's, that's, that's wacky and goofy enough. I ain't never going to be a big streamer. It's never going to happen. You know why it's not going to happen? Not marketable enough. And I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm, I'm mostly happy in my, my humble little world. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. But I ain't never going to be a big streamer. It's not going to happen. I don't worry about it. That's not my lot in life. Um, not cool or funny enough to be able to get to those uh, those those horrible, horrible heights. Why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in a fight 
or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance. All right, better to appreciate what I have rather than worry about what I could have. Gun you got, just in case. Let's get out there and fight some demons. You have too much personality. I have too much personality. I'm not marketable. I'm too wacky. I'm too zany. I'm too quirky. I'm too fucked up and goofy. I'm not going to say good person. I'm an okay person. I'm not going to... I'll take the compliment, but I'm not going to eat it up. You can't fill my ego bin that heavily. You got to keep me... You, you, you got to tamper the ego. All right? You got to tamper the expectations. Ego gets too big, then I'm going to start, like, I don't know, doing reaction content to... Uh, 90 Day Fiance or whatever. She's right, and it's just a glitch. And, uh, no need to tell her I said that. I appreciate what I have. Could I want more? Could I do more? Yeah. But, um, I don't, I don't, I, see, because the second you start worrying about what you could have as a content creator, and I've fallen into those loops before, the second you start worrying about what you want and what you could have in, like, a bigger audience or in a larger audience size, that's the second you start falling into the pit. Right? There's a pit of despair that content creators fall into. And that pit of despair is something I've fallen into many a time, and I avoid it like the fucking plague. Um, and that pit of despair is, like, the larger you get, uh, sure, the more money you have, but the harder it is to relate to your audience and the harder it is to to keep up with what you want to do, because then you're always chasing the never-ending dragon. You're always chasing those those highs, those heights. And rather than chase those heights, I just do what I want to do. And if people like it, that's cool. If they don't like it, that's also cool. If something doesn't work, if a project fails, I drop it and I move on to the next thing. I like streaming. I like doing what I do. I like talking the way I talk. Um, and that's, that's it. If I, if I was a greedier person or a worse person, I, I could have pushed. There are so many relationships that I could have networked or angled for, um, if I was a worse person. Oh, big, big, huge, 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 huge. Immediately dead. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. There are a lot of points in my life where I thought, if I was the worst person, I could take advantage of this. Uh, and I chose not to. I didn't think we were going to make it through Because I didn't want to... You hadn't been with me. I didn't want to be that kind of person. Never thought there'd be a day when I saved the Davis Wilson. I think the first time I realized that was when Tales from 4chan, uh, back on the old YouTube channel, blew up. And I realized, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Fuck that. And I stopped doing it. And I did it a little bit here and there still, but I stopped doing it because I was like, fuck that. I don't want to do this every day of my life. I don't want to be the guy who reads and narrates stories because cool voice. I wanted to be more than just cool voice guy, right? Because there's also, if you have a deeper voice or like a quote unquote a broadcasting voice, it's really easy to fall into that trap, that pit. Like, oh, cool deep voice guy. And I refuse to do that. And that was like the first mental step to getting where I am. Overall, I don't know. My journey, my journey to where I am is weird, wacky, and wild. Um, but I didn't ever want to take advantage of anything. It's why, in ten years on YouTube, I've never taken a sponsorship for my main channel ever. Never done it. It, it. The closest thing I've ever taken to a sponsorship is like the Epic Creator Code, and even then, that's based on chat interacting with it rather than Epic giving me money. She needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. He's gonna be fine. Thanks again for saving my ass. I mean, I take a sponsorship if I like the product. But like I'd rather be poor. <laughs> I don't I, my my problem is, is that I don't I don't want to shell something I don't like. And that's the, that's the, like, tempting and tantalizing thing, right? It's like, um... I don't want to show something I don't like unless I absolutely felt like I had to. Right? Like, if I was in Dire Straits, and I absolutely positively had to do, like, a Nord VPN ad, I would make it absolutely clear that, like, and I'm doing this ad because I need money. And if they didn't let me do that, I wouldn't take the ad, and I'd go live in a box. Come on, Brendan, don't you like Raycon earbuds? I will never shill. 
Raycon could never offer me. Even if they gave me a life-changing amount of money. I will never shill Raycon. Do you know how much? I've talked about this before. Raid Shadow Legends offered me, what is it like? I think it was like $4,000 to $8,000 for like a one to two video deal. And like, I'm an insane person for not taking it. Uh, but I didn't take it. Was it worth not taking it? Part of me thinks, no, absolutely not. I could have used that money. I could have done a lot of things with that money. But the reason I didn't take it is I didn't want to shill a mobile game. I didn't want to advertise for him. Dumbass, I should have taken the money. Part of me thinks that. The other part of me is, I don't want to do that. I'd rather be poor and, and feel like I'm making something I want to make rather than do something that I don't want to do. So, I'm, I'm stupid. Right. I'm dumb as fuck. I got rocks in my head. I can't believe I second guessed it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control. And like, I have friends who like make content who also think that I'm dumb as fuck and I got rocks in my head. Um, and that's just, that's just how I am. I'm dumb as fuck. I got rocks in my head. Um, I do not mind if other streamers, YouTubers, I'm not going to like bash somebody for taking a sponsorship because like, that's your livelihood, right? Most people are like, whatever sponsorships, like fucking do it. If you want to shill Raycons, if you want to shill like uh NordVPN, if you want to shill this shit, go for it. Cause like at the end of the day, you got to make enough money, especially if you live out in California, you got to take that shit. You got to take those deals. You just have to. Like, you, you survive on those deals. AdRev pays out shit, right? Um, but I live in Iowa, and at the end of the day, as long as I can pay rent and, like, survive, I don't feel the need to take any of those bigger deals. I just don't. I don't, I don't feel the need to live outside of my means. Would I love to? Absolutely. Would I love to go to, like, a bar and, like, drink from a champagne tower? Slap somebody with a bluefin tuna that costs $3,000? Absolutely. fucking literally I'd love that. Almost dropped a cup. Ow. But I, I don't. Because I grew up poor. I live poor. I will probably die poor. And I'm happy? As happy as I can be? The only thing I wish... I wish I could, like, afford therapy. That's, like, the one thing that's, like, man... Be nice to be able to go to somebody and get like the silly pills that make me brain work. Well, for now, I need to get to work on this immediately. But, but like, sitting around, at the end of the day, like, for you. my mental state is better than it's ever been in years. I I'm happy doing what I'm doing, and I have a good time doing it. Really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again. And it's uh, it's like you know. Some people live to work, some people work to live. And uh, I live to work. I live to stream, make video content, do things, interact with chat. I love streaming. I fucking have fallen so in love with streaming over the last, like, year. Um, to the point where, like, I, I, like, work less on main channel stuff because I just love doing it. Uh, and I'm not going to stop doing main channel stuff. I just, I just love doing this so much. Evening, sir. Um... And, like, as long as I can just, like, survive, I'm going to keep doing it. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. And I'm not miserable. So, I mean, that's really all that matters. Want to get a funny rifle? Funny rifle! That's pretty sick. You can... <laughs> Demoralizing. You know what this rifle does? This rifle makes you sad. Put your fucking hands up. This is the rifle to make you sad. <laughs> so fucking sorry, but I did indeed find the rifle that makes you sad. Heartbreaking. I don't know. I don't I don't often get too serious on here cuz I don't want to like do that. Um, but I appreciate y'all. Mimi, I walk the walk. Mimi, I talk the talk. I want to go over to that cave. I want to see what's in that cave. Just 
Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> gun that makes you sad. <laughs> Why, well, you know, technically every gun is the gun that makes you sad because if, like, you get shot, you're either gonna be dead or sad that you got shot. Fact of the matter is, every gun is the gun that makes you sad. Ready, can you start talking about the socioeconomic climate of modern America? You want me to get political? You, I, That's the Borderlands. That's what I play Borderlands. We don't... <laughs> I'm not playing Borderlands. I don't even get political. I'm not even playing Borderlands. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> little freak. Grabbing my little freak bat, sending you into the stratosphere. Oopsies, that's right. You hit the moon. It still is wild that every Borderlands stream I've ever done, for some reason, always gets political, and I'll never know the reason for it. Gravity's a bitch. No one will tell you different. Let me over the wall. Do I gotta wait? I want over the wall! I gotta wait a minute before I can get over the wall. What if it was called Broaderlands and it was really wide? What if it was called Broadlands and it was a sequel to Broad City on Comedy Central? It'd be fucked up, dude. Then they make two of them. I think oftentimes about, like, uh, talking to my friend Stebby, uh, and they were trying to, like, remember the name of Broad City, and they kept being like, uh, that's that fucking show. What is that show in Comedy Central? Fucking Pussy City. Pussy City. And, like, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Unironically, them thinking, fuck, Pussy City. Pussy City. Fuck. I, uh, ah, uh, shit. I think if I ever saw Claptrap in real life, I'd kick him as hard as I could. You know what? Actually, I did meet Cla Fuck, I keep forgetting. I did meet Claptrap in real life. I met David Eddings at QuakeCon 2016. I got a picture with him. Cool fucking guy. Super nice dude. I keep forgetting about that. I feel like legitimately remember. Why they got the crab out here? Crabula? He's dead. Oh my god, no tree stars. Did you kick him over? I didn't kick him over. Oh my god, these dogs are barking, dude. Sad that you can't make the, like, Ash to a companion. That'd be cool, I think. Where's that cave I was going to? Show me the cave! At Elk Crangon! They really went wild with these names, didn't they? Ah, oh, the Elk Crangon. <laughs> Look at the fucking udders on this son of a bitch. Woo! Oh shit, he's coming! Better to just use my pistol. The rifle's cool, but the pistol's busted. Can't wait to see the randomizer for this game. The randomizer for this game would be insane because you'd be on a ship and you'd see like an elf Krangon just like chilling out and having a good time. Driving the ship, driving the ship, driving the bus. Creeper. That'd be fucked. That'd be all sorts of fucked. How many of these creatures are milkable? Every creature in Starfield now milk milkable. Finally, you can download the Milk Me mod, and you too can be milkable in Starfield. <laughs> Todd, you did it again. You set it all up so the modders could make many a milky mod. 16 times the milk. 20 times the milk detail! Oh damn, this cave got the dog in it. Damn, but they be barking. I am personally milking Todd Howard. Calling out Todd Howard. Come to my house. I have a variety of farmland creatures for you, Todd. I'm going to ask you, Todd, which of these creatures are milkable, Todd? You'll have to come to my home, Todd. It's going to be a milk madness here, Todd. We're getting up to some hijinks, Todd. 
Coming to my dairy stream, Todd. It's Milk Mania out here at the Brandaniel Homestead, Todd. We, we out here hitting with the Milk Mania, Todd. What, are you going to say no? Me calling Todd Howard directly. When are you coming to Milk Mania, Todd? When will you be here, Todd? I've been waiting, Todd. Todd is too much of a coward. He would never show up for Milk Mania. Todd will never come out for Milk Mania. Milk Mania used to be larger, but then it got condensed. I'm, <laughs> I'm inviting all sorts of dairy farmers from all over the world. We out here drinking unpasteurized milk like it's going out of style. Listen, I don't like my milk to be pasteurized. I think that's fucked up, actually. I refuse to drink safe milk. I live on the edge of danger. I drink my milk right out the cow. Todd was the president of milking club in college. What a horrible thing. Please don't strap Todd Howard to the apparatus. Please. And would you kindly strap me to the apparatus here? Oh, fuck. I don't know why Todd's speaking like that. I don't know why he's talking like Atlas from Bioshock. And would you kindly strap me into the apparatus? And would you kindly calibrate the pumps? Now would you kindly turn on the apparatus? You were just complimenting me as a streamer, and now we're talking about milking Todd Howard. This is a horrible day. Hey, Chad, who do you think is the most milkable video game character? I was gonna say Minecraft cow. What the fuck? What the what the fuck? Are <laughs> the amount of like this character, this character, this uh, Minecraft cow. The Minecraft cow. Okay, God. <laughs> this is so fucked up. I I didn't even I did not even want to let it start. Right, I was like immediately I did not want to even let it start. Dogs are barking. He's shooting rock out, he mouth. What the fuck? Not going to heaven. You know how to say all dogs go to heaven? That one at... Okay, he's back. I did get a little scared. I did think that he was... Like, I was gonna make a joke about all dogs don't go to heaven. Thought he did. He didn't. He's in hell. Really did think for a second that he was gonna go to heaven, though. Hey, dear. What's up? Yeah, I'm the man. Hey, when I'm the man, and I get to open the fingers. Bring the pliers. I'm not gonna break it. Bring the pliers. No. Bring the pliers. No pliers. Try to open it. This thing toughy. Bring the pliers. No Bring the pliers. No. Bring me the pliers, woman. No. Bring me no. the pliers. Release. Please. Bedduck. Bring me the pliers. Release. I can get it. Get me that rubber glove over there. I need the fra I need the friction. The rubber glove on the floor over there. I use that to open things. You know all those jars I have? No. Filled with little creatures? I've been collecting bug. They're all in the closet over there. There's like 50 of them. Sometimes they get sealed up a little bit. And I gotta like, I gotta like open this shit up. I need the friction. See? Always opens. First try with the glove. Nice. Good job. Thanks. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Benzene. Shut the fuck up, Sam. You scared the shit out of me. I forgot you were around. Jesus Christ, Sam. My daughter this. My daughter that. And you wonder why your wife left you. Or she's dead. I feel bad for saying that. She might be dead. Be fucked up. World's on fire. How about your... Oh, I just got sad. I forgot. 
Brendan's losing it. I was talking to my wife. She wanted me to open up nail polish for her, and it was stuck. I had to grab a rubber glove because when you when you have a when you have a jar that's like sealed and hard to open, you know, like a pickle jar or anything, you want some friction. So you should always have a pair of um like washing gloves or dishwashing plastic gloves uh, because they add friction to it. Um. So, like, let's say you have a pickle jar, and it's like, oh, I can't get it open, oh, I gotta be strong. You get a rubber glove, you put it on your hand, boom. Pops open immediately, because you want the friction on it. You don't need pickle pliers! Brendan, I just have pickle pliers laying around the house. You don't need pickle pliers. Ah, uh, Brendan, I beg to differ. The pickle pliers help. You don't need pickle pliers, alright? I promise. It helps, but you ain't need it. They're extra. They add extra to it. Brendan, might you stream hyenas or is that too sloppy for you? I played it with Mandy yesterday for, um, I want to say we played it for about an hour. Um, and it was a horrible experience. <laughs> Stop it. Why did I have to say pickle pliers? Hello, everybody. My name is pickle pliers. Did I? Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm gonna get real nasty real fast. Do this to myself. He gonna pop up. He gonna pop up on he uh what is it? Five Nights at Fred Bears. He has a pickle mustache. That's so epic. That's so crazy. That's a cool looking gun. Who the fuck live here? Is there somebody that live here to give me a quest? Made like 20 people leave, guys. How horrible. Look at these fucking bulbous bat- Oh shit, they fucking attacking?! Where the fuck the man at? Is he dead? Did I miss the deadman? I saw the dogs were barking, but like... I just tried to go into his house and his cows attacked me. Oh, was that stealing? Oops. That might have been stealing. I feel bad now. Nope, not stealing. My melon. My alien sandwich. My coffee. My sealant. It's not stealing, it's cool. These are my anal Jesus. Sam, are you attacking this man's cows? I don't even see to man. Sam really wants to kill this guy's cows. He really does. Fine. Fine. I don't want to do it. But it left me no choice. Shit. I don't want to do it, but they ain't leave me any choice. They do they do be attacking me. Creature. Oh, there he is. Ah, there they are. That's sad. Whatever happened to these guys? Fucking horrible. So sad that that happened to them. Fucking terrible, dude. Fingus. They do got a Fingus over there. Brendan, how does this game compare to Spore? I mean, in Spore, you can build a spaceship that's like a Michael phone. You can probably do it in this game, too, if you find a cockpit that's, that, that's like, orbular enough. If you find, like, an orbular enough cockpit... Cockpit? Fuck, fuck, fuck. If you find an orbular enough cockpit... Not cockpit. Shut the fuck up. Get it out of your systems. If you find an orbular enough cockpit, you may be able to make your ship look like a Michael phone. Trying to inflate my dick like a hot water bottle I bought at the Walmart. Call my shit a cockpit. Oh. Based and cockpit. Here it goes. It's starting.
Nice and big and round. Now I just have that button. I can just nice and big and round. 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 Just press that a couple of times. Chat loses their mind. I just got, I got a funny. I don't need to say anything else. I just got a funny button. I just press the button and everybody inflates. They go nice and big and round. I just got the button for it. I can press the button for it. I just got the button for it now because I can just say nice and big and round. 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 <laughs> Only got four buttons. So sad. So sad. So heartbreaking. Are the bad guys here? Finally, I can test my, uh, I can test my pistol on human subjects. Yeah, soundboard bit, I clapped! Oh yeah, but what if I pull out these? What if I do, what if I, what if I give you, what, you, cr do you crave something? I can feel it. Hurgling and gurgling. I can feel it. Now that was a good key, wasn't it? Great bit! The streamer did it! He pulled out the keys! Now wasn't that nice? Didn't that feel good? Didn't you get your little hit of dopamine, huh? Hmm. Oh, am I fucking fat and full of shish? I am almost fat and full of shish. Horrible. Not quite yet, though. I'm just skill point. This is maxed out. Okay, good. Anybody else hear Brendan's shallow breathing? I was muted, so no. <laughs> Let me in. Hey, stop. Can you chill? Well, will this happen again? <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Todd bless you. <laughs> I love it when you shoot the guy, and sometimes it takes a minute for them to realize they're dead. It's a good bit. Alright, that man's is dead. We're good. We out of here. We out of here, Sam. We got into the pod. We leave the pod. We ain't need to be in the pod. Just goes to show you that sometimes the good guys come out ahead. Welcome to the jungle, we've got fun and game. We've got lots of creatures out here in the jungle. Give me that. I'm gonna be carried, yep, overweight. Of course, I know, my fat ass cannot handle an inventory this small. I don't need that. I don't need that axe. Where's all my fucking weight? It's all in, oh my god. It's gonna just all be in resources, isn't it? I don't need a hammer. Why do I have a sand garden tool? When did I pick that up? I don't need tape. It's all in resources. Son of a bitch. I wish I could compress this shit.
Robot's dead. Fuck you. Robot's dead. Fuck you. Give me your battery. Give me your ammo. What you got? What you got over there? Fucking firing upon me. Rude. Come here. Damn pirates. Why are you everywhere on the planets? You're literally everywhere. Don't stop. Oopsies. Give me a moment. He can't see me. He ain't know where I am. I'm a little secret. Sucks, don't it? Shit sucks, don't it? He knows where I am. We got him. Oh. Sam, you got this. Yeah, he do. Great job, Sam. Mine. We got more guys? Come on, dude. Where? Where? Oh, I'll probably Sam probably got him. All right, where's my grenades? Oh my god, still wasn't enough. Fuck. Okay, maybe if I eat and drink a bunch of root beer. I did see a mod that somebody made. Uh, somebody already made a mod that turns the root beer into mug root beer. Should have installed it. I'm just eating food, I guess. Midnight Delight! I'm drinking milk. I'm eating ramen. Why don't I just- that's 10 pounds. It dropped that. I mean, snack packs out here. That's where all my weight is. All my weight is in, like, uh, the spaghetti carbonara I clearly need to be carrying. Skyrim, but instead of big wheels of cheese, I have big wheels of ramen. You telling me you got a big wheel full of raw men, Brendan? Shut up. Part of me likes all of the clutter, but another part of me is like, man, I cannot wait for, a, like, an inventory mod that makes all of this shit a lot easier to be able to manage. What the fuck I get into the Robo Lab? Is it over here? Yeah, I got a sprain. Cool. Awesome. That's so fucking epic. That's so fucking cool. Made me want to merge without looking. Son of a bitch. That'll do. I am, in fact, a chef. The chef do be carrying a lot of food. If you're a chef, you... Like, obviously, if somebody works in food services, of course they're carrying around, like, big pots of spaghetti everywhere they go. It'd be silly if they didn't carry around big pots of spaghetti everywhere. Lose my fucking mind about it. If you're a chef, you don't carry, like, I don't know, a croissant in your pocket. What's even the fucking point of being a chef? Look. Apple. I'm picking up too much crap again. It's already happening. It's already- I'm already doing it again. I dropped all that food just so I can pick up more food. Sam wants to talk again. Sure. 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 Sure, drugs. We good, we good. Alright, Sam, what what do you want to talk about now, bud? Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to Son talk. of a bitch. That girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time. I mean I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. Uh, that's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Cora wasn't exactly planned. 
I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Had a partner. Lillian Hartz. Well, we were like fire and ice, but, uh... Well, it wasn't all bad. Understatement of the century. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew. I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. I mean, something you said to me about parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's... that's what haunts me. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. Sam, you're a good dad. Said things even worse. You're trying your breast. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she gonna fall into the same traps? Sam, you're a good... you're a good dad. Talk to her about this shit. When she's older. Communication is key. Crazy, towing her across the stars. Talk to your child. Swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story. We're learning so much Sam lore. What, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. You think? Well, oh, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. Sam, I just think you're neat. What? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Take off your helmet. I'll be able to heal you, hear you better if you take off your helmet. Come here. Gotcha. <laughs> Listen, I may just, in fact, I may just pull out the knife and end thing. Oops. Someday it'd be like this. All right, this is easy to open. Check this shit out. Ah, oh, master of unlocking. Just stabbed he ass. Sometimes you just gotta do a little. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Someday it be like a gremlin day. Someday it be like a goblin day. End of the day, it ain't matter. That fits there. That fits there. We good. I'm learning. What do we got here? Rivets? There's got to be like a rivet gun somewhere then that I haven't seen yet because I keep getting rivets. Oh, boy. Motorcycle. I love finding all the random antique motorcycles and then, I don't know, I'm just selling them. They're mine. I'm not going to drop them. You want me to drop those antique motorcycles? That shit ain't happening. They're worth money. Motorcycles ain't even exist in this game. Of course I keep that shit on me. I need more credits. I want to be able to pay off my mortgage and live comfortably. Is that too much to ask? Check Rivet City. That's Fallout 3. That's a different place. Come on now. That's where you learn about the synths, isn't that crazy? Why do the wooden duck why do the wooden ducks make an audible quacking noise? Cause it just be dubious like that. Boop. Why did it auto slot th oh no, okay. That one is fitting. Brendan, you should start a Todd Howard fan club in your town. Nobody'd want to join. I can't take that. I hate that it keeps giving me fucking smuggling item. I don't know where to get rid of smuggling item without getting fucking owned. I'm not good at smuggling thing. Duck. I do like that the duck make a sound when you pick them up. It's pretty good. They go wink. I mean, I ain't need to pick it up. Because it's not worth that much money unless you get the good one. 
but I do like that. And are you based in Chunks build? I want to find the Chunks factory just so I can blow that shit up. I really just want to find the Chunks factory so I can fuck it all up. Where do they make the Chunks at? Where's the Chunks factory at? I gotta know. Fuck this fit at here. Well, they say this fits somewhere. Am I losing? My there we go. I was losing my fucking mind. What the fuck? It do that sometime. Got a little Todd issue. Sometimes my weapon model expands. Oopy. All right, let's go fight some guys. I picked up some random shit, didn't I? Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm gonna just drop in it. Fuck it. Is the ammo waitlist in this one? Yes. Thank goodness. You you already have so much to keep track of in terms of like weight already. Adding ammo to it would just make it a nightmare. Oopsies. Not all of them. No, no, no. There's more. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, shit. You're alive still. Come here. What the fuck? I also love whenever uh, enemies start goofing out really bad when they're using their boost pack. I think it's very funny. Come on. Get up. There we go. Bye-bye. Sniper space helmet. Plus two max. Is that better for hacking? Wait a minute. Uh, so less oxygen. Plus two max auto attempts that can be banked while hacking. That's neat. I don't want to use it right now. You know what? I'll keep it just so I can sell it. Otherwise, we done. Cool gun. Fucking dead, nerd. Absolutely ruined his fucking life, dude. All right, I think we're done here. We just gotta loot all this free medicine. They do be keeping a lot of medicinal herbs around here. I do be making a lot of stim pack. They got a pharmaceutical lab somewhere, right? Because I got a bunch of shit that I can just use up if I can. All this game has taught me is that sometimes clutter is really important. And pick upable clutter is really nice to have. I'm a big fan of clutter. If I go to a milk factory and I see a lot of butter clutter, I'm very excited. There's one. Knew they'd have this shit. I can make 27 of those. That's not a good idea. Hi, Sam. You watching me make some medicine, huh, buddy? Sam's chilling. He's cool in it. Oh my god, I too much shit again. Where's all this milk and orange juice and water that I have? Eat all these worms I have. Eat all this extra food. We eat the food. We eat the oats. We eat the Papardelli Bolognese. Carrying around a pound and a half of Bolognese. I should probably get rid of that. Spaghetti. Keep my bread. Don't use the bread. Eat that sandwich. A lot of spaghetti still. 
A lot of sushi. A lot of sushi. Gotta keep the sweet rolls. Eat the battle pack, I guess. Eat the udon. A whole watermelon! <laughs> I'm gonna be bulbous when I leave the inventory. About to be the most bulbous boy on the planet. Food making me orbular out here. I'm freaking the fuck out. Might be a more discreet way through here. What do you mean, might be a more discreet way through here? Ain't nobody else in here. This game just makes me want to really vacuum seal my meats. You know, we got the, you put that dog in you. Oh, I don't want any of that. Ka-ching! Ka -ching! One sec, can I just... It didn't fit in the weapon rack, so I could just take it. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. I want that regulator, though, so we're getting in there. All right, first one done. You gotta look for the ones that only work for the one you're in. Once you figure out, once you figure out how this shit work, it gets so easy. Or what they got in here? Nothing. Not even worth it. Not even worth it, Todd. Not even worth it. Come on, Todd. You could have done better than that. Oh, the key was right there anyway. Eggs. Key was right there. Didn't even fucking mattress. All right, we done, we good, we spicy, we feeling fine, we out of here. Let's sort of fast travel to my ship from here. I can't, all right, we out of here. Why are those people so beige? They took all the water out of them. Sometimes you lose all of your fluids. Oh, yeah! I got a mission on Mars. We should go back to Mars. Love my new ship. Wish- What the fuck? Is that Vasco? I think Vasco just disappeared. Thank you, Todd. Get rid of that- Silly robot for me. I appreciate it, Todd. Ah, we're at max capacity. All right, we gotta make a we gotta make a trading run. Ready? Can you check your inventory? I think I saw a heart listed in loot. You took off one of the scientists. Yeah, heart plus is the name of a drug. So, I think it was just that. All right, we going back to New Atlantis real quick because there are traders there and I would like to sell them thing. Let's go. Where's the jet equivalent, Brendan? I don't know. I haven't looked too closely at the drugs. I haven't been using them. I'm mostly because I don't want to deal with addiction, and that's just how I usually be in videos game. All right, uh, miscellaneous. Let's sell these motorcycles. Let's sell that. Don't need that. Sell from ship inventory. All right. 
Just, you know what? We're not using any of these. And we'll keep a hold of that. All right, what do we have? Way too many of. Coffee bags. We got coffee. We got a bulk tranquil tea breakfast. Uh, let's do by weight. So, we got those fuel rods. Got a bunch of random shit. You know what I should do better, actually, is find an outpost. I should build an outpost in this system. Let's find a good planet real quick. We'll build a little outpost, and then we can send some of our guys there, so... Any of these planets have iron? No, why not Zomka? Let's go to Zomka. Why not? Uranium? No, no, no. We want iron. Maybe in craters. We'll do craters. We'll build, we'll build our own little outpost here. the ship. Hi. Please disregard. I am not Right there. Good enough. Oh, iron right here. That gets enough power. I think it's got wireless power. That'd be enough. Simple fabricator. I like that you can toggle the view of this, honestly. This is so nice. For a change, this is so nice. There we go. Round. And since we can, uh, let's not build any turrets. We can build a little sanitation robot and a garden mini bot. We got bots. I didn't even see the bots before. That must have unlocked. Build these in two different outposts and link them together to allow the transfer of goods between them. Allow crew to be assigned to your outpost. All right, let's get in there. Let's build these pods. It's pod time. All right, we'll put a crew station here. And we'll put down some beds. Comfy beds, though. Comfy beds. I want them to be sleeping nice. That's too nice. 
These are fine. How do I assign my crew? I sat down at the chair. Okay, that's just a desk. Okay. That's just a that's just a chair. Gotcha. Teller to outpost. Lynn to outpost. There we go. They love getting rocks. It's thunder believable. Are they outside now? Are they already here? Cool outpost, Brendan. I think they'll be here eventually. I should find a way so they can make the food, right? They like the food? How do I re-enter build mode? There's gotta be a button for it. I gotta look at that shit. We're building! We're settlement building. At least until we get that an outpost needs your help. I'll be like, oh fuck. I thought it'd be hold the select button, but... Hold the B button? No, it's not the D-pad. I think I gotta go all the way back. Oh shit, son of- I locked myself out. Enter scan, hit the- oh, there's just a button. <laughs> I love refrigerators. Is there a hang in there poster? I need a hang in there poster, please. Oh, come the fuck on. Bethesda. I mean, we can mount this. They're pretty cool. Oh, I'm already out of aluminum. Damn, bitch. You aluminium like this? All right, we're done. We out of here. Cool planet. Cool, happy to be here. Look at all that iron we already got. I got a, what, a transmission? Cribda system? Where the fuck that at?
I cannot get there, bitch. That is a level 65 designated area. I cannot get there, bitch. I'm so sorry, bitch. Go to Paradiso. Where's that at? Ah, they still do that. You can't fast travel while jumping or falling. Is that also in Charybdis? I can't get there, bitch. Oh, I can get there, bitch. All right. Level 30. All right. I hope it's worth it. Oh, is that the unidenta? Is it that? Over now. Can I hail him? Hello, this is Chef Bridges. Um. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll talk to the guy on Paradiso. I haven't even seen Paradiso, so I don't know if it's like a big town, big city. It's a fucking casino. This is fucking welcome to Paradiso. Elvis is here. Elvis is going to be in that spaceship, ain't he? He's going to be eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, ain't he? This is a fucking resort, isn't it? This is this a goddamn resort. Grendel. Don't need that anymore. We get that money. We get that paper, babe. Speaking of paper, uh, Frankenstein. Keep those survey datas. Take that. Take that. Take that. Any other books I have, too. We good. We good. Okay. I'm just getting rid of all of this. Just too much weight. It was all my resources. I also have too many resources in my ship. I gotta find something that I have way too much of. Like chlorine. I don't need this much chlorine. Buy, I don't know, 10 of my chlorine. Coffee bags. I don't need this much coffee. Buy 10 of my coffees. Copper. I don't need this much copper. Buy 20 of my coppers. Hallucinogen. Do I need 26 hallucinogens? No. Take six of them. 66 helium one. I don't need that much. Take half of it. Iron. I don't need 68 iron. Take like 20 of it. Isolinear magnets. I'm going to keep those. I need those magnets. 57 sealants. Why do I have this many sealants? Take 20 of them. Toxin. Why do I have 45 toxins? You know, take take 20 of them. Take this tea. I don't need this tea. I'm carrying all this extra tea. I need it. I need it. It's too much tea. Perfect. I am aware that this is your eighth visit to our resort. Your repeat patronage is much appreciated. Is there any Hands be fucking out here. Today? Boozing in Paradiso, huh? Question. 
Usually, when I come here, the shuttle takes a certain route, showing me the beauty of this world. But this time, our entries seem to take uh, longer. And we pass by a lot more open water. Was there something wrong with our normal flight path? I heard the rumors of a ship in orbit. Please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience. This alternate entry was required. Uh huh, there's definitely not like a ship somewhere fucking around. Enjoy your stay knowing you're in our capable hands. Oh, fuck yeah, we love resort planets. Not only do we love resort planets, we fucking love resort planets, dude. Speak with Chief Sugiyama. I've been saving for a week long vacation with Korra. Oh, swimsuits and my ties. We fucking love vacation planets. I fucking love vacation planets. Now let's talk to this dude about that odd, uh, that funny ship. Hey! Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who... Oh, dude, they think it's alien? ...you have any more information. All right. We'll talk to the CEO after we try to get on the planet. Dude, let's do this. Unknown ship orbiting the vacation planet? It's just going to be like a big guy stuck in his bathtub piloting a ship alone. He, like, set course and he's just been, like, stuck in his bathtub this whole time. Oh, he's going to be eating a whole turkey like, Get me out of here! You gotta help me, bro! I'm going to have to do a physical check to get him out of the bathtub. Round like a butterball turkey. Nance be hanging out above the vacation planet. Must eat a vacation. I pressed the wrong button. Shit. All right, we're going to go into the mystery ship and see what's inside. God, I hope it's slot machines. Hail him again. Uh, we're going to try to dock. Is that okay? I'm docking. Let me on your ship. I'm docking. Brendan, have you not done Into the Unknown yet? Not yet, no. I'm just... F weird, f weird ship above this planet. We're getting in. Hi. Human. Yeah, I'm human. Were you expecting something else? It's just that we weren't expecting to find life. Oh! Let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Oh, it's like a life ship. It's like a vault. Except with living, breathing people. We have got to explore this ship. Perhaps we should greet our guests. 
Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bar. Oh, fuck yeah, we found a generational it's ship. It's completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. You know, those others are human beings and they were here first. Of course. We know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. Todd really pulling out with the generational ships being depressing as fuck. Would be necessary. Now then, please... Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I would follow you to the bridge, man. For security. Oh my god, these fucking nerds. We have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. This is totally just a vault, basically, in space. Colony ship constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroids... Oh, they sent him out there before space travel was just real? Oh, no, these poor people. ...of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He truly believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Oh god, lucky these people never got attacked by pirates. Jesus. <laughs> he said it! He said the Indiana Jones line! What a little freak! This place belongs in a museum! I <laughs> no matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived. Though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of... The people in Paradiso want the same. I'll help. So they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help. Why not just find another planet? Based on the data our ancestors had when they launched this endeavor. This is the perfect planet for us. Aside from like the fact that it's a vacation planet. Even if we had another viable candidate planet, we lack the resources to get. Our people have no desire to go back to drifting the stars, so they're children. I'll try, but di diplomacy may require compromise. But we need to start from a firm position and if need be, we can but initially I'd like let me know. They're how not going to leave the planet. We thought about it, but it's simply sure our first settlement may be that would be difficult if someone else Now now, it makes little Oh please try. Oh please won't you try and help us? Oh it'd be so nice if you could ask them to just leave the fucking planet. Yeah, you are you are silly as all hell, I'm not gonna lie. Pff, say that they're say you know, they say that they left Earth 200 years ago, and yet I see, uh, digipics and magnets. Uh, that's technology that was invented recently. Ah, uh, fucking liars. It's like finding pipe rifles in old pre-war safes. Fucking liars. Fucking Todd. Oh, she drawing a picture. This is the hollow doc. It'd be funny if it was him. I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are. Welcome, welcome. I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be... How did you do it? Oh, we have a tech called Grav Drive. I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I, read I love this mission. I already love this mission. This is such a good fucking mission. Amazing. I'll have 
to learn more. Oh, I've got so many. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi. But you can call me Ami. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Oh, I'm Chef Bridges. Yes, of course. See you. Bye bye. No more questions. You want some sort of. Wouldn't he be fucked up if you guys saw a weird little creature? Sure is nice to know there are other people out there. Wouldn't it be really fucked up if you were some kind of weird little creature? Hey. Times, this is such a cool little area. I like this quest. Me, I'm a big fan of this quest. Oh, I can't fast travel from their ship. Lame. And I like that they all have their like little suits and shit. It's good. Okay, nerd. Oh, they're using the M1911. That's a good bit. Oh, they probably only have old earth weaponry. Careful waving that fancy gun around. <laughs> okay, the fancy gun that I have, the pre the pre space flight pump action shotgun. Okay. Oh, don't wave that space gun around. The space gun that I have? Excuse me. I'm lost in your fucking ship, dude. This is why I hate that there's no directional... I keep going to the fucking mess hall. I'm sick of this ship. I hate this fucking place. Cargo bay? Okay, I came from here. Got it. All right, let's see if we can talk to the CEO, because I'm assuming this guy's going to be a dipwad. <sighs> He's going to be a dipwad, isn't he? So, miss stay up late reading under the covers? Did you I'm sure you this is bad. Last night? You go. <laughs> He's going to be a dipwad. There ain't no way he's not a dipwad. He's a CEO of a vacation planet. I He's going to be a dipwad. There ain't no way other ways. All right, let's go talk to the dipwad. And I want to see inside the casino, of course. Like, I, I can't not go to a fucking paradise planet and look at the goddamn casino. What if there is a casino in here? What if the slot machines work? No, there's no way. Your safety is our number one priority. <laughs> da, da, da. Welcome to the resort. Please enjoy your stay. You can do so many things at the resort. Hey, hey, hey. All right, go to the executive floor. I got to talk to the CEO. Dude's going to be so pissed off. I'm going to quick save because he's, he's going to be just so mad. Excuse me. You can't just walk I have an appointment. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Uh, so I'm going to go into the boardroom. It's fine. Have fun in the shark tank. Oh shit, the boardroom. Just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the We need more money. More money for our resort. The shareholders are angry. Coming off as just another artificial I realize Keely was letting people in here. I understand you're the man I need to talk to about the strange ship in Borbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens. <laughs> I'm sure whatever, it's brilliant. Hmm. Sarcasm is it? What a dickhead! Or some think it is. 
But you're right. No one's going to buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. Oh, this guy's going to be a dickhead. What's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. Um, it's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth here after a 200 year journey. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost- No! I don't like her! No slaves, dude! All their debts before being allowed what a bitch! I wanna blow her head off! Maybe not. What if we help- hmm, But what if we put them to work in dentured servitude style? They really captured the corporate boardroom here perfectly. Our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Uh, why can't they just settle on the other side of the planet or something? Oh, you're a bastard. I get it. We don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture. Oh, I hate you. These are human beings and you're worried about landscaping. That's absurd. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I want to pop this guy like a pimple. Just for our entire group, you don't. I think I made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. What if after all this they continue to insist their claim to this planet predates yours? They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. That's it. I'm gonna go lawyer mode. With both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation, we may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make. Uh, what's the better option here? Do you think, chat? I can convince them to take the settlement deal, but then they're going to have to work there, and that's horrible. Or I can give them the grab drive and try to get them settled somewhere else. I'd buy, buy the grab drive. You want to see a man named Benny say he's the best in the business. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his. There's a lot of land out there for the taking. It'll be hard. Talk to anyone and list. Right. On behalf of the parodies, the bomb's right. I'd rather buy him the grav drive. Fuck this planet. Horrible, horrible planet. I got the money. I won't be able to pay off my mortgage, but it, I fuck this guy. This guy's a dickhead. I hate this dude. I want to blow up this whole damn planet, honestly. Give me like a planet killer drive. We're going to just blow this place up. How much is it for a night? No, don't tell me. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather him settle somewhere else rather than work for this fucking douchebag. Last thing we do in this playthrough is run up and just ju I don't know, pop that guy's head. What if we just killed everybody here and then let them take the rest? They could just have this planet. <laughs> I get the feeling there's more options if you talk around a bit. Yeah, probably. Maybe probably, yeah. Orbital insertion completed. Let's see, who do I gotta go talk to? Some guy over here in Narian? On Valo.
That's in Hope Tech. In Hope Town. I ain't never been there. Watch me crab drive right through their ship. There we go! I don't got any contraband, dude. You're goddamn right I ain't got any contraband. Like, I could just make an outpost anywhere on any planet. Why can't they just, like, fucking... I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna make a, an outpost on the other side of that horrible planet. I'm gonna make a bunch of toxic chemicals. I'm gonna put a lot of chemicals in the water. Not gonna lie. Putting a ton of chemicals in that water. Really fucking them up. Welcome to Hope Town, USA. You can live here if you work here. That's it. That's the only way to live here. If you work here, then we'll let you live here. That's what I feel like it is. Anything I can help you with? Oh, this guy's selling sure ships. You like. What you fucking got? Ah, oh, the Han. That's pretty good. I can't pilot those ships yet, though. One day I will be able to. The Shackleton. I like the Doolahan. Not a lot of cargo capacity on this son of a bitch, though, so maybe I don't like it that much. There's a lot of cargo capacity on this bitch. But he's an, it's an A-ship. I can't pilot those yet. I'm not cool enough. All right. Uh, we're going to finish up this quest line the next time we play. Uh, I'm going to get off for the day, I think. Leave you wanting more. Figure out what to do with those funny colonists. Uh, but I'm going to leave for the day. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thank you for coming to this Monday Labor Day stream. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Labor Day, and I will see you tomorrow for something else. Before I go, I'm going to chill, as usual. Uh, creator code Brent Daniel. If you buy anything in the Epic Game Store, it helps me out a ton. If you don't use the Epic Game Store, don't worry about it. There's always videos over on Brent Daniel, too. You can check those out at your leisure. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, good rest of your Labor Day, and I will see you tomorrow.